Hello, everybody. It is me, Monosphere. I am back with uh, <laughs> my alerts fixed. Hopefully, um, I think my alerts are fixed. Hello, Harold Wit. Thank you for uh, for all your likes, people. It's very nice. Very nice of you. Um, it's Friday. Hello. I, these uh, starting streams is always awkward. I've been doing this for three, two years, three years almost. Three years, I think. No, two years. It's only been two years. It's always awkward. It is a pleasure to see new faces. I hope you're doing all right. I hope your weekend has already started. But with that, let's introduce what we're doing today. We're not playing with shaders. It's rather hectic with Axiom, which we do use. Today, we are tackling this water feature and hopefully getting started on this big bridge here because I want to finish that before I start on anything else. Um, it's, it's a busy day. It's a busy day. We did lots of water features yesterday. Here's what we did over here. We finished the upward path from the fog and all of these four, I fixed a bunch of stuff in here. We figured out how to get all of these flowing. And it does look kind of weird under the glass, but that's fine. It's, it's not going to be too, uh, too noticeable. I think it's fine as is, especially like these ones that go into the fog. Um, maybe I'll have to fix something here. Yeah, we'll have a big... Big bridge. This was part of my original plan. I was gonna have like a crazy magical bridge. Uh, so like, like a a root here and then a root there and then the middle is kind of like blown out and like lightning rocks everywhere and stuff, uh, floating. So that's what these are for. These are for floating segments of the bridge that have like I don't know come undone. We're not gonna go over it, so it can be as big as I want, which is always, always fantastic. Let me just check my, oh my, let me just check my thing, get my, uh, get my, uh, preview up. Why no stream on Twitch? Um, oh, Harold, you're Harold. Hello. Um, Twitch, I didn't feel good on Twitch. Twitch, uh, doesn't have as much discovery and it doesn't really have anything to do with my, my recent projects. So. I figured that I'd try something on YouTube and so far I've really liked it. The feedback for one, like I have a whole analytics screen that I can look at during uh, during the stream, see like my average view duration, which is fantastic, you know, it's actually really useful. Um, you know, people can like it, people can, um, I don't know. It's just a lot more personal, I think. And that's kind of the goal of my stream is to be a little bit more personal with people to have a community not just like hey you watch me i want to actually like talk to people and you know show them what i'm doing and then the final result is like linking to my youtube on twitch just doesn't do anything and linking to twitch on youtube doesn't do anything you know it, it just there's not a lot of friendliness between the platforms unfortunately and you know of course the the like in-stream feedback is, is fantastic to know. You know? You know? Um, it's... I don't know, it's weird. I have a chat widget set up underneath this. Um, it doesn't seem to be functioning. Which is unfortunate. Why? Why is it not functioning? Because I got it functioning earlier. Does it only function for me? I might have to refresh it. Properties. Refresh. Yeah, I just spent like the last hour getting a couple more alert boxes and uh, some settings figured out. I think my alert boxes should be... Oh, there it is. Yeah, I just had to had to refresh. So you guys show up on, on the screen now, which is you're part of the stream. It's fantastic. Um, last stream, we also... It does work. Yeah, yeah, it just showed up for me. If it was showing up for you guys, then uh, then I did not know. I don't think it could have, though. But yes. Amazing. Amazing stuff. Well, last stream, we deleted this horrid 
hill, this horrid mountain. You can see it in the previous thumbnail. And in the 15th installation of this, we will not be touching it at all. I went ahead and grasped this area up. I replaced all the flowers with flowers that show up in World Painter generation. So if you look over here, uh, well, actually over here, yeah, so orange tulips and roses and poppies and also azure bluettes, right? And I just, I don't know, it, I, it looked really barren, <laughs> so I, I decided to fix it up. I also got rid of the lime wool over there, so that's a thing. But now, now I need to drain this. I need to drain this whole thing. Drain 50. I need to drain lots and lots of water from this. And honestly, I mean, this is a good starting point. So I can flatten this out and then get it to flow over the edge. Much of this river is rather shallow. So, unlike that one over there, I did this one correctly. And it doesn't need to be, uh, I guess, sculpted as much. That one still has a lot of work to do on it. But, oh, my inventory is empty. So sad. But, for instance... I can just use my cylinder tool to fill this up. And I think the goal is to is to have some kind of cliff about here across the rock bed. And I'll shallow it out and make it make it function. But for now, let's just build this wall. Let's just build this wall. And of course, stone is our chosen tool. And we can use the smooth tool later to make this a little nicer looking. Oh, I, I really like this worm tool. It's so, it's so useful. Okay, so I've got this wall and like a general feeling for how far that needs to go. We've got our spear brush up and ready in three seconds. And let's do 15. 15 will be undo. Undo. Not sphere. We need cylinder. Cylinders for how we do this. It's good to see you, Harold. It's been a while. And of course, these streams aren't as extreme as Twitch. So, like, under 18 is fine on this specific platform. It's not made for children, right? So I, I have to mark my content as not made for children because it isn't made for children as in it's not an advertisement or it's, or not an advertisement, but it's not like a kid's show or something like that. It's not like a musical or, or anything. It's specifically also, well, I guess mask air doesn't matter. Um, it's specifically just entertainment, meaning more people can, can view this than on Twitch. Because on Twitch, I just felt really uncomfortable having a, um, having a channel, like, have I, I set that to 1% cobblestone, apparently. That's what happens. I see. Um, yeah, on Twitch, they, like, they really enforce the age limits and, and how it all works, which is fine and all, but like, like it's Minecraft and I don't curse that much. I curse about a, uh, an R rated amount. It's not true. I curse about a, I don't know, a regular amount, especially recently. Really recently with how uh, how I've been doing things and so I don't know I just it feels a little more inclusive it feels a little bit more inclusive I feel better about making the content that I'm making wow. and uh, I don't I don't feel so much like I'm just kind of streaming to nobody even when I am I know that people are going to see it afterwards, and and that's motivation. That's good motivation. 
undo. It really is fantastic motivation to have a VOD that is pushed in an algorithm. Because because Twitch's Twitch's algorithm is crap. Let's just say that Twitch's algorithm is garbage, and uh, and it's really hard to to like beat it. You know, you can't really like there. There's no uh, there's no good way of beating Twitch's algorithm, and the tools are really hard to use. Like YouTube's YouTube's broadcast creation system is uh, not simplistic, but it is to the point that it has all the tools I need. It has uh, an ease of access, and it it lacks a complication that Twitch has like ingrained in their system. It feels like Twitch added a bunch of things haphazardly and decided to call it a platform. I don't know. Let's call it uh, let's call it gamer politics. It's just this is just how how I think about platform overall. And uh, I don't know, yeah, it's just it's just a, a thing. It's just a whole thing. Now let's get our melt tool real quick. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. Let's call it gamer politics. So today's today's stream, of course, uh, I, I mentioned this at the start in the introduction, is going to be around these waterfalls, all of them. So I might not get to the bridge, but I think I can probably at least set up some kind of thing i might even move this closer to the coast it's pretty close on this side but if you go far enough back over here it is a uh, not i might even end up recording an optifine rather than iris in an earlier version because create the create mod is very unlikely to have a uh, fabric version ready Especially a fabric version that's compatible with all of the other things that I have on, such as Axiom and World Edit, and World Edit CUI as well. So I might end up switching versions quite extremely later on, just to record it and finalize some of the processes. I want to use Create to make a uh, carriage system that will carry me through the land. So that I, uh, so that I can pay attention to the centerpiece a little bit more, so I can look at it from a distance instead of kind of glancing at it occasionally. Because that, I don't know, that inability to see it the entire time is really rough. A cubish world edit wands preserved for their commands through logs. Because uh, it's really annoying having to re recommand all of these things or reprogram all these things every single time. Here we are. Yeah. Um, I mentioned earlier, I don't like the create mod because it doesn't use the recommended versions. That is a thing. Yeah. Create mod can have some compatibility issues, but also, like. It takes a while to mod something or to reprogram something, so I can forgive it for doing that. And I mean, 1.20 really did not add enough for me to care if they've updated it or not from a survival gameplay viewpoint. I mean, it would be really, really, really convenient if it was updated. No, it, it uses 1.19.2. I know because I use it on 1.19.2. And they updated it recently to do that. You might have missed an update or two. It wasn't really news, but um, I can use the extrude tool. I can use the extrude tool. Oh, nice. But um, yeah, it, it totally is on 1.19.2. 
like the full version, right? Axiom is really killing me. Holy moly. It functions with shaders recently as well. I think my chat so stream elements on YouTube, I think, is super laggy. So I don't think I can do anything about how delayed chat is on on the on this on the OBS side that broadcasts. No, but Forge gives a recommended version for Warnot 19.2. What do you mean? I mean, as far as I know, create. The create mod uses the latest version full on, full stop, even. If you look at their update page, it's certainly on 1.19.2. This might be lost in translation. I guess, I guess the stream elements isn't, isn't too isn't too delayed. It showed that one instantly. I probably just missed the other one. My vision is getting weak in old age. Yeah. Because, I mean, if I look at the if, at the create page, it's it's going to note that it's for. Uh, what is it? Forge 43. Dot something something something, which is only for Minecraft 1.19.2 up. So, all right. So we've got like the main wall kind of figured out. I'm gonna have to sculpt this a little bit. We be Noozle wibble bit. Make it curve a little bit. Uh huh, uh huh. Of course, I'm sculpting all this right before I melt it all to make an indent, an engraved section. Because melting just strips the layer, preserves the shape for the most part. For the most part, it's it's hectic. Sure is hectic. Uh, yeah. Uh huh. Okay. I'm still a little congested. My allergies have uh, been improving slightly over the last week, but uh, for the most part, they're just not great. A little sniffly, always at this point. I might even have a slight animal allergy, but I really don't think so. I've had animal bits injected into me to test that. Allergist. That's what happens at an allergist. You get like uh, you get injected with small samples of potential allergens, and then they're like, "Bro, thanks, Stream Elements Bot. That's really helpful of you. <laughs> That's really helpful of you." Wow. Can everybody see that, or just me? I think everybody can see it, right? Because it's just a live chat. It was supposed to say that at the beginning of the stream, but uh, I guess stream elements is is rather slow. So does this function? I haven't even tested the commands since I tried to set them up earlier. Oh, oh no, oh no, he doesn't have a number. That's very odd that's one of the default commands i didn't make that <laughs> oh that's not good at all it's supposed to work 
I mean, I guess the command works. It just has it has an invalid output. Not streaming apparently. Oh my. <laughs> Poor guy, he doesn't even know what he's doing. Has absolutely no no brain in there. That is a little silly. How did they manage to mess that up? That's uh that's one of the default commands that runs with with stream elements. It it it's built in. It's just on my profile, right? Very odd. Okay. Um, let's melt this sucker. Let's melt this sucker. This is the big one, so it's it's gonna be. Um. Well, I can smooth this out, but I'd rather it. I really like the smooth tool. It's pretty awesome. Because, or rather the melt tool, sorry. I cannot speak today. Square this off a little bit more. Oh. That was a little ragged. Don't worry about it, though. Okay, smooth tool time. a little wonky strength oh no hmm melt I would rather it melt this point oh my um Stable? What about growing? Now, growing is worse. Objectively. What if I just reduce the strength of this by half? Oh. Oh, that's what happens. Threshold? What does threshold do? Threshold does absolutely nothing, as far as I can tell. Wow. And strength really did nothing at all. I mean, the strength did more wait turning the strength up makes it makes it weaker that makes no sense who programmed this who put that value in that doesn't make any sense uh, I want to well it would be much faster if I just well hold on Okay, strengthening that, the strength that goes up on that one. Oh, this is much better. But the visual doesn't function, which is kind of funky looking. Uh, what if I... Turn that down to 16. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's much better. Most of my dog and animals. More dog. More dog. Look at that little guy. He's just a furry potato. It's awesome. Look at that little guy. Wait, does my does my Discord command work? 
Yes, it does. Heck yeah. Okay, so stream elements isn't totally worked. That's the link to my Discord. If you guys would like to see said Discord, you can click that link. It is a place that exists. So, uh, so Alex, how did, how did you like that, uh, how did you like that Ahsoka episode? It was, uh, I will share my opinion. I'm going to wait for you. I'm going to wait for you. This is really not going fast. I mean, that's kind of good. I didn't watch it. Okay. I won't spoil then. <laughs> it's a, uh, an interesting watch. It's good. It's good. So this is how many blocks high? Four, five, six blocks high. One, two, three, four, five, six. Got it. My dog is changing. How? On what legs? He's so tiny. Okay, so this will go down when it gets to like there. Well, yeah, there, I guess. So that'll be five. And this goes down one, two, three, four. And then I guess, I guess we just let it go. Hmm, maybe we want two blocks. This is a much larger fall after all. Also, let's just quickly fill this with bedrock. Fill bedrock. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, it didn't actually do it all. Cool, cool, cool. When my dog chases me, he... Well, he doesn't. He runs away. This corgi is built for... Is built for running away, basically. He does not chase things. Except for the cats. He chases the cats because he's a terrorizing maniac. His only goal is to shout at them. Uh, da 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 da. Well, hmm. I think I want to add that back on. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do here. Hmm. I could take this slope and like, well, actually, hold on. I have a vague idea. It revolves around Axiom and Rock Tool. Axiom Rock Tool. Tool and biz. That's what they do. It's what they do. It's what they're built for. It's all they do. Why did dogs lick things? I need to stabilize this. And I realize it just ruined all of the bedrock I just replaced. This looks a little more stable. Right. Uh, please avoid posting videos in any social media of mine of yourself. If it doesn't include you, that's fine. But please do not put your face 
in my Discord. Kindly. For your safety and mine. That's a little better. Uh... Hmm. I should put that in my rules. Sorry for the miscommunication there. Okay. Good, good, good. Yeah, no, no face vids. Unless it's explicit. Unless you are over 18 years of age. You are not allowed. And even then, please take caution. The internet is a weird place. Yeah, my channel is no longer res age restricted, so... Um, as in... Uh, tw my Twitch is 18 plus. Because Twitch requires that I do that. But YouTube has a different categorization method. Different rules. And I can be a a bit more social, a bit more lenient. <laughs> it's banning random people because of their age. Ah, whoa! It is to be. Ah, da -da 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 -da. I want a shelf. Of course, I want a shelf. Yes. And then from here, basically just do the same thing I just did. Dude, this is such a powerful shaping tool. What the hell? Like, this shouldn't be allowed. <laughs> I don't think. Imagine all the, like, retired builders who are, like, screaming. Because this didn't come out when they were in their peak. Ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. Uh, no. I would rather you melt this. That's an important, like, difference in, in the tool use. Being able to, to, like, melt, like, delete the blocks versus either one. Grow versus deletion. Very, very handy. I'm quite liking it. Of course, like, it's not very strong. I've got to click a lot to get this to function in a way that, that works. Okay, how's that look? Um, I think it requires some flattening here. Very nice. And same on this side. I'm gonna dig a line, and then because this is a removal tool, it'll widen the entire thing. Nice. Oh, that's much more of a gradual curve. I like that. A lot more. Hmm. Yeah. That's good. Alright, well, I guess let's get the water sorted. And of course I need my water tools. I need my water tools. Let's do wooden hoe and golden hoe. Of course we need spong. Oh wait. It's over here. Spong, a wagger bucket, and gold blocks. We also need barrier. 
I will retrieve those eventually. Eventually. Yes, yes. So, I say like around here. Dude, this is such a useful tool. Holy cow. Who knew how useful infinite, infinite reach would be? Oh my gosh. It's great. Okay. So that's a water line there. And then our next water line. Well, what if I take it like right here? And lower each one of these by one first. that would be a little nicer to me it would also connect with the front of this thing over here this uh river mouth over here a little kinder just a wee bit kinder what's going on here we're at 65 this needs to be at 64 64. Placing gold blocks and converting them to a different material in order to make a water barrier. Yes. Also, disclaimer, if anybody subscribes or like tips or anything and there isn't a, uh, a notification, I tried. I tried to get those up. And, uh, and if they don't work, then that's my man. I'll have to work harder. I have to figure something else out. I think I did find the issue, though. It's it's a pretty easy diagnosis. Uh-huh. Ooh. Yeah, that's much better. Okay. And let's actually shape this a little bit more. So... Oh my. Well, I don't I don't need to worry about that. I don't need to worry about that. Okay. So that'll go down there and then this'll go down here. Pretty rapid descent. It might be the particles that are so choppy. I don't know. It's not super noticeable, though. So. I am not going to worry about it. Aaron! Hello! Welcome to YouTube streaming, where I stream on YouTubes. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I say I never knew. I didn't until Wednesday. So, not at all your fault. I have switched completely over to YouTube because it feels better. It feels better and it, it makes logistical sense um, with how I post and whatnot. So, I see you using. It's pretty good. It's very laggy. Uh, it added a a partial stutter to the game. I mean, uh, you just witnessed it. It's a very slight stutter. It's a very slight stutter. I also learned that it is really, really not good for building structures. Structures do not benefit nearly as much from Axiom as they do from World Edit. So that's something. But it is very useful for like copying and pasting and uh, moving things when you need to move them like i had to move a lot of stuff on that and and it was very useful for that i would like a control z option in uh, in regular building uh i i really 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 enjoy that rather than having to go to the shift menu every single time because uh you can get a little hectic you can get a little hectic when it's like that so uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm going to leave this and wait for the shape to, to pan out. Oh, lowering entire things is very, very annoying.
But uh, yeah, currently we're shaping out our waterfall, getting ready to push the water over the edge. It's going to be a little smoother than the first one that I made. But I think it'll be a lot cooler, especially once I add this bridge in. I think I might I might shift this entire thing over by however much it takes to get it in the middle of this like right here which might be rough i might have to delete this edge and replace all of these crystals i think i can make this work i might even have to like it would be easier to divert the river actually it would be easier to divert the river wouldn't it it would take a lot of work though this is a simpler this is a simpler thing that I'm suggesting, which is just to delete that and then move it over a little bit, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't like where this is where this is right now. Maybe the river has diverted or something. I, I don't know. It just it isn't as perfect as it needs to be. So I'm I'm contemplating that. Could even extend this out. Diverting the river is less fun. I don't know. The, the thing that takes longer... The thing that takes longer and destroys more is typically less fun. I'd have to replace every single one of these, meaning I'd have to copy uh, this guy right here, which is our original... Is this our original crystal? There's no way this is our original crystal. That's not our original. Is this? Is this our original crystal? Because it's missing glass on top. Oh, because I probably brushed it. Yeah. I probably brushed it on this side, getting rid of every single ounce of glass on it. This is totally our original one. Built it all, all the way from here. Um. Rethinking voxels is certainly the one I'm going to stick with. But if there were a ray tracing version of the other one, I would absolutely switch in an instant. It looks so good. It looks so good, dude. Like, it just... It's almost unfair <laughs> to, to have a shader that looks that fantastic. I think generally the... Um, my thoughts on it are, are really... Just rely on ray tracing. It's less sharp. I'm hoping that he has a ray tracing version in the works, but maybe not. Maybe he's settled on something. Nothing can really compete with ray tracing. Like, if you can run it, then... There, there isn't really a reason to not use it. Also. Might as well get rid of that. In a slightly faster way. Um... These, these tools are kind of finicky. That's kind of like my only notice in it. Also, it is very dysfunctional with, what do you call them? With the, uh, with filters, with masks. It, masks don't function for most tools right now in Axiom. So, it's kind of a struggle to do some things. It's it's very difficult to get... This is specifically for building, I guess. But if you wanted to make, like, a patterned, uh, like, mountain face, it would be rather difficult to get it to go on a specific type of block. Like, like it, it's just... You'd have, to, you'd have to use the noise, and the noise is simple enough, but for other things, like, um, like, texturing... Or, um, or re replacing blocks, stuff like that. You have to do it one at a time, or it doesn't work. And that's not really how texturing works. Oh yeah, no, yeah, it's certainly, it's certainly not a complaint. It's just something I, I noticed that they released it without, um, it's, it's really good. I mean, I built, I terraformed, you remember how big this plateau used to be. I terraformed the hell out of it in 30 minutes. I thought it would take an entire stream. I thought I would lose a day doing that. 30 minutes. 
to to terraform millions of blocks. Um. Yeah, but multiple blocks, so like a mask, just doesn't function. So I have I don't use the noise painter at all anymore because it just kind of sucks. It also is uh, is relegated to a singular layer, so I can't paint an entire depth. It only does the top layer, which, you know, it's fine on topographical things, but say I'm trying to texture this and I have a few more edits to make, I have to keep on revisiting that tool to repaint it each time. Um, it's all, it also relies on a seed, which is pretty cool. Um, I actually really like that factor. However, I'd like a different tool. I'd like a different tool for painting noise like World Edit does it, which is by percent value of when it's placing the block. So, I mean, a lot like this, where each one has a 33.3% chance of placing. World Edit does it like that, whereas uh, Axiom does it as a pattern that it generates in some whatever. Pretty sure you can adjust that. Um, you can. It doesn't really work, though. <laughs> uh, the problem with the adjustments is simply that a lot of the time they just don't work. So, yeah, beta. It's beta. It's whatever. World Edit fills in a lot of the things that are lacking right now, which... Uh, so I can forgive it quite a bit because I have other tools that do the same jobs uh, and even do them better. I like World Edit's method quite a bit more. Honestly, it it just it feels more uh, mathematical. It just it just feels better in general. Uh, but like this, you know, I'd like to set this as a mask and like be able to take all of this out at once. But I can't. I simply can't. I have to select it uh, individually and and that's kind of annoying. It's, it's for terraforming. As far as I'm concerned, I will not use it for anything except terraforming and moving the occasional thing that uh, that would be really annoying to move otherwise. I'm sure they'll improve this in the future, especially by adding functions from World Edit. Commands are really nice. It's annoying to have to press shift every time and like find the tool. It's much easier to just memorize a command like brush sphere or uh, deform commands and stuff like that. Like that's just how my mind works. So maybe other people would like it better at a, a different way. But like, like this, I'm... It's not great. It's not great. And I mean, if I use a brush cylinder in World Edit, like there isn't a tool for just deleting things on this level. I guess I could... I could use the melt and set it to Y equals whatever this is. And actually, what is this Y value? It's... 56. If I go in here and set this to 56, I can do that. But it's really tedious. Because it doesn't obey the uh, the area that I'm doing. I mean, that's, that's pretty fast. This is much faster than breaking it by hand. But now I've got to come back and do this. Right? And there's just something... Uh, that's something that can't be avoided. But it is something that parameters could fix. You could flatten it. I could flatten it. Flat like my head. I'm making fun of flathead babies the other day. And uh, and I came to the realization that I would like a key in video games that... Uh, you know how you have a prone key that puts you on your belly? I want a key to go supine. That's all I want. Why can't I have that? It makes sense, too. Sometimes you gotta shoot at the sky. Sometimes you're sitting in, like, a hole 
in the ground and you want to, you know, you want to shoot at the sky straight up. Yeah, and I, I will shape this out just, just a wee bit. See, that worked real great. And I could have done that for all the other ones and wasted less time. Uh, yeah, I guess I, no, let's, let's use the two, the two measurement. But yeah, I've been getting used to it. I'm by no means practiced at this point. I just kind of, I just kind of use it <laughs> whenever it fancies me. Or whenever I fancy to. It does get rid of water, which is pretty cool. But like, it would be really great to get like a tick here, right? An ability to, to tick this option up and down, which is what art programs have. This is based off of art programs. It's very good. It's a very good basis on art programs. It feels like GIMP though, which isn't good. Do you like the control Z factor and the fact that I don't have to be careful with how much I delete versus how much I, uh, or, or how much I change between all this because, uh, in world edit, you only get 15 edits before you can't undo anything past a certain point, past that 15 edits point. So that sucks. It's rather obnoxious to deal with that. You just have to be very, very, very careful. Basically. Um, but in Axiom, you, I mean, you get thousands of edits. You can you can do billions of blocks of edits and never, you know, not log out during the entire time and then just control Z all of that or scroll to the top of the list and click it and it undoes everything and it undoes it very fast i think it has a cache system that allows that it's very very cool like i accidentally accidentally like like removed this entire thing with world edit and it was horrendously laggy i did something on like three times the scale of that with axiom and it hardly even lagged like i think i accidentally replaced an entire section of the map like worth hundreds of millions of blocks and it hardly even flinched which is incredible like what well then it just kind of hard to get used to because of the entire command um yeah when you when you restart when you use it for a while you get really used to the things that you use um like i can do a brush sphere i can do a deform i can do uh like fill and patterns and whatnot really easily but getting used to it again after a few months not using it definitely took a while so yeah i i agree with that it's really hard to get used to but if you're just using it constantly then whatever you know making the control z thing save when you leave that that's hmm that's nice but also it could become a liability become an issue this is above the waterline I'm like there's something wrong with that something above the waterline oh there we go now I guess this needs to go lower see that's really cool as long as it's all connected you know it it functions right as it's supposed to i imagine they have a lot planned i mean this is nowhere near as powerful as you know for example gimp is for art gimp is so powerful but it's also so hard to use that's why nobody uses it that's why that's why it's you know the worst thing ever is because it it's just really poorly paid and they haven't quite worked out the usability of Axiom yet, but they're getting there. You know, it's certainly intuitive uh, compared to, 
you know, GIMP. GIMP is not intuitive. GIMP is something I dream of, and I don't count them as good dreams. Let's just say that. I, I don't count GIMP dreams as, as good dreams, um, as in the art program. Graphical something, 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 something. Save for world. Yeah, I, I am. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense. How are you supposed to? Why would you? I'm sure they could do it, but why would you transfer control Z? Why would you transfer the library between worlds? That would be frightening. Would not make sense. Uh, game dreams, dude, like, like, I swear to you, when I made my channel banner, which I'm keeping, by the way, even though it really has very little relevance to what I actually do, um, I like, I like straight up would have nightmares about GIMP. Like, and I, I'd like keep on doing something wrong and I knew how to do it, but I just like couldn't figure it out. It's like, it's like brain rot. It's like the ultimate ADHD dream where you just keep on doing something. You ever have dreams like that where you just keep on doing something wrong or you keep on trying to do something and it just, it never works, it never works, it never works and you just go insane yeah, I hate those. They suck. I have them I have them during bad sleep weeks. Yes, I have entire weeks. I label my, my sleep by, by the week that I'm in, not by the night. You people with your proper sleep schedules. Um, yeah, just... Oh... GIMP. GIMP is awful. I remember when I started learning GIMP and like, I think that's the one thing that still can make me scream in rage. Like, hours of, of like, work just lost because of some stupid mechanic and I have to redo it all. I had to do that a couple times. Um, my previous channel banner was like that, where I like did all that work and then I kind of had to redo it. And like I couldn't get exactly what I wanted, so I just kind of gave up at one point, and then had to come back. What's a proper? Well, I mean, I wake up at 10 a.m. because I go to sleep at 2 a.m. if I'm lucky. This week has been bad enough that I'm I actually haven't had a, had a I've, I've had problems waking up at the right time. I've had problems waking up at, through my alarm. I just sleep straight through it. Which isn't good. That's That doesn't happen to me, you know? I went to college. I learned things. I had an early schedule. There's several semesters where I had to wake up at 6 a.m. or earlier to do things and then stay up past, like, 11 p.m. To, uh, to get work done. Get studying and whatnot done. College sucked. Guys, college sucked. Uh, da -da 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 -da. yeah. I would like to move the river. I would like to move the river. I think putting, I don't know. I, I want to go through here. Right. I want to go through here and. So this bridge is going to be over here. There's that little tiny well. This bridge is going to go here. I'll put like some kind of big building over there and then I want to come up here go through like the tiny ruin or town or whatever it is over here and then have like a really big bridge over this waterfall maybe maybe like an actual bridge over this waterfall and then and, and I mean, this bridge could be straight. You know, it could be straight if I'm careful about it. But 
but that's kind of hard. It's kind of difficult. Kind of, kind of hard. Um. I don't know. You know? I don't know, you know? It does look pretty cool. Huh. You know? I have an idea that avoids the bridge actually coming all the way in. And I think it's a really cool idea. So I'm going to go with it. The bridge is not going to go all the way in. It is. And I'm actually going to mark out sections supposed to look like maybe it did once. But it's not going to settle. And I actually think, yeah, just like marking out big segments and then a base here and maybe like a, an old washed away fort over here. I have an idea. I have an idea and I can execute it. Okay. So these are segments that are kind of going to be... Uh, I guess... The, the the bridge segments, you know, these, these are going to be, uh, you'll see, it's hard to explain, but I'm, I'm going to have like floating flipped and whatnot segments of a big bridge and then like a base fort right here because, you know, you put a fort at the end of your bridge and it'll be like sort of washed away. Maybe some big blocks in the middle here that the water can go around. And after we get this waterfall done, I'm going to set the fog back up. I'm going to set the fog back up. And I'm going to uh, make a hole that kind of, like, kind of goes diagonal down here. So, so following this kind of path, I'm going to make wind eddies or mist eddies that come up. Uh, fresh. This this can just be the same. Fresh sphere. We went 30% stone, 30% gravel, and 30% stone. And this will have a 50. Oh. What? Oh. Wrong name. And the mask will be. Deep slate. Stone. Uh. Diorite. Granite. Andesite. Iron. Ore. Copper. Ore. Gold. Ore. Gold. Ore. Diamond. Ore. And the deep slate variant of each. Deep slate. Iron or deep slate, uh, upper or deep slate. Oh, and I need redstone, redstone or deep slate, gold or redstone or slate, diamond or and. I think that worked. I think that worked real well. Oh, and lapis. Lapis. Or. And actually, undo. Three. You just undid 30. Ah. Uh, undo three. No. 15. Jeez. Chewy! Set this mask. Or set this brush to. Uh, let's do. 75. Oh. 
This is the wrong one. Okay, that's a little better. Excuse me, what's a proper... What's a schedule? It's a better ask. Uh, ask question. Water is now our best friend. We also require this gold be absent. Nope, that was a mistake. Bailey's very loud in the next room. I think you can slightly hear her. I don't know. She kind of shows up on the on the radar. These don't matter at all. Yep. Okay. I think that's most, if not all, of the ore. The different. Ooh. I see you. Alright, so. I need bedrock. Ah, oh, jeez. This is kind of an issue. E Don't worry about it. Doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. Okie dokie. The void isn't black, it's like purplish blue, so... I just, I want to eliminate any chance that it could show up through the glass. It has a very specific, like, light to it that can kind of get awkward. Alright, well, I guess let's do this last. And get rid of that gold. I don't need that. Oh. And I have placed a block over there. Ta da! Please never ever do that again. Thanks. Gotta love placing blocks. Yeah, this uh this water is gonna be a little larger than other ones have been. I'm gonna put this down by two blocks. There, this is down by three blocks. Ah. 
All righty. Fix water. Him. This might take a while. There won't be any gaps. I don't think. Maybe you should do 15, but it gets pretty delicate in the smaller segments. Oh. Any wingle-wongers around here? No? Okay, that's fantastic. This is generally the simplest way that I've found to do this. To put up barriers and then fill it all the way to the brim. So that it simply cannot go past. If you simulate it flowing, it kind of freaks out and can break things. It doesn't look as good, but you know, what are you going to do about it, right? Also. Also, uh, rain. Yeah. Oh, I pressed shift. That was a mistake. I don't like the shift button. I'd rather it be like freaking like the delete key or something. That would be cool. Page down or home or something. That would be pretty cool. But uh, but the delete key. That that wouldn't be awesome. But. But shift, let right shift, it's right next to slash, it's right below enter. Like, it's right above the Windows key. You can misclick so many things because you're unused to touching it at all. Like, it's there, it's there because nobody uses it. But the fact that nobody uses it makes it hard to use. Uh, like, I know what they were going for. And it's smart, but not smart enough. Like at this point, I am totally used to it. And even then, I still make mistakes. Wobber. I've been thinking about Lego Indiana Jones. Oh. Yeah, that would probably help. That might help. Just a small amount. Think about Lego Indiana Jones and especially the second Lego Indiana Jones. Both some of the greatest games that have ever been made. absolute joy to play. And I need temporary shelf. Well, I don't need a temporary shelf. I need a sponge is what I need. Messed up. Oh, I messed up.
I need to get rid of all this water before, uh, before I place anything else because it'll just, I'll just have to reset it a billion times and it'll be even harder if there's something wrong with it, at the very least. If there's nothing wrong with it, then, like, it's whatever. But I can't guarantee that there's nothing wrong with it. That does look pretty cool, though. It's a rather straight and narrow guy. I'll probably... Hmm... Make this a little closer in. Add some blocky... And actually, I'm going to do that. I'm going to add some blocky walkies. Oh. It just didn't do anything. Why is this not working? That's why. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Let's get this smooth sucker back in here. Stable. Uh, can I do this and then block equals? Yeah, blocks. No, it doesn't work at all. Wow. What an obnoxious problem to have. It treats water as a block, which is just really odd. I can redo these easily enough. No! Oh, stop that! Someone is drilling. I will let you all know. If you can hear a drill, that's why. I don't know who. I don't know where. Probably the bathroom, where the drills happen. I don't have time to wait for this. Oh, gosh. And take it down edge by edge. The enemy won't know what hit them. Ah! Oh, my God. Stop it. just like replaced half of the blocks I just got rid of. Oh my gosh. Uh... It'll go away eventually. Right? Also. Yeah, go ahead and fix that, please. Jeez. Shouldn't be hard. Shouldn't be hard. Uh, I did not get rid of what I wanted. It's sort of going faster, but it's so involved. Oh, I don't like it being so involved. Oh, that's good enough. I don't need to terraform this section quite as much. 
Um, I do need to flatten that out. Oh. Take it from the bottom. And move this puppy out. I'd much rather it melt it. Like, that just seems like a better solution. Take them blocks, put them away. Uh, seems maybe a little bit better. See, there's no way to test it except to put the water in. I mean, it should be better enough. What's going on? Hello. Are you leaving? Why are you all dressed up? Just cause? Just cause. Whoa. <laughs> oh, I totally just... Whatever. It'll... It'll work. Drink your water? Huh? I've been drinking it. Uh, no, not yet. No. I don't know if I will this stream. I do have a headache, probably because I haven't drank any water. Probably because you need more coffee and coffee mm. ice cream. Yeah, I'm pro mm -hmm. probably because of that. Yes, you are correct. <laughs> I think I'm going to get outside. I'm not. Your little chili pepper? Disgusting. It's water. Five. Five is good enough, apparently. Oh, but this is this is not remedied quite yet. I love gold blocks. Uh, yeah. Where's the water? Why am I still on this one? Blocks, my favorite. that again. 
It's rather annoying. Oh gosh. Wait, so is there a... Can there be like a... Ooh, ooh, actually, hold on. Black equals... Yeah. Look at that. Easy peasy. See, the masks do work. To some extent. They just don't... They're not very advanced. Oh, I do need to get rid of that stuff in the void. Bill. Bedrock. Bedcock. 50. 50. What is going on here? Since when does the void not exist? Oh, undo. Undo that now. Whatever. This is all part of the process, I guess. This is why it takes so long. <laughs> Waterfalls aren't hard. They just take absolute decades to do. An absolute millennia to do. Let's do five, like the last one. What is going on? Holy oh, moly. Actually, no. No, I absolutely do want all of that crap. Yeah. That's fine, yeah. Water time. this a little bit better. I'd want to. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. 
So many blocks are being affected. Fantastic. But that looks dumb. I think I'll put a single line. Oh, and that hits like right before the curves. Oh. And I guess it's time to. Delete all this. I gotta be very careful. Oh. No. Oh, no. Well, I guess. Yeah, I would do that, and then I'd. Redo it, right? Whoop. And then I'd fix water. better though the source only on the top block here it should fall in line question mark oh yes yes it is working just fine make sure that this doesn't fill any gaps in that aren't supposed to be filled in. Oh. Make sure not to do that again. bubbles in the middle of my water. Uh, it looks real cool. Oh, that looks real cool. I like that. Uh, this is something that got undone earlier. I don't really know what it is. But uh, I can do this. I do like this part of Axiom. It's amazing. I did not press fear. Yes. Yes. Destroy. Uh, 
Uh, I'm pressing shift right before space. That's what I'm doing. I wonder why this is all messed up now. That looks pretty fucking cool. That's that's really awesome. I'm gonna fill in the glass. Might end up getting rid of this bottom lime layer. I'd use Axiom to do it. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Mm -mm. oh wait, sorry. Fill lime stained glass. Uh. 300, so it's not obnoxious. Magenta. Light blue. Out of sync. Don't worry about it. I set it out of sync. No. Why is it always the magenta that does it? There we go. And magenta. Blue. Lime. Into still. Oh, wait, wait, I'm not above it. I'm like right on it. Bruh. Again. Kind of weird. This one's gonna be below, isn't it? Nope, it's fine. Almost at the surface. I can see the roof. How quaint. I can see the roof. It's so pleasant. Nope. Maybe I replace the water down here with with uh, lapis and wool the texture. Various textures, even, and I don't think I have too many blue things put into it. You have coral. Coral might work, but... Eh. Oh, glass. Duh. I could just replace it with blue glass. Oh, that might not work too well. I could paint it with blue glass. Oh, what about that? What about that? Hmm. Or better, and do what I was going to do. I remove some sections. Actually, I do need to go down here again. Let's set this brush up. Come on.
Okay. Hmm. I want a cylinder. Brush cylinder. Air. Let's do this at like... 45? Mask. Light. Blue. Snake. I might have to do this each time. So let's put this right there. And I guess, kind of going outward. This might take a while. Now this is where, this is where the exciting stuff begins. I guess a radius of will fifteen do it? Undo. I want it to be a radius of twenty five then. Thirty. Thirty. Thank you. Do a couple of those, so certainly the the top few layers. I want this to be a layer in. I'm not going to be able to undo all of it, am I?
That's a little better. And of course, I need to coat this entire thing. Let's move up to this level. Might end up being a little difficult. I think I'd be making crystals again. gotten rid of the glass on these, meaning it's not exactly easy to shade them correctly anymore. I'm going to have to replace the glass on these manually, basically, is what I'm saying. Uh, if only. Um, I'm thinking if there's like a way in Axion to do it, but I, I really don't think there is. Fortunately, I think I only really need to replace these first few layers. Uh, and maybe not even these first few layers, but just the exterior layer here to get it to shine correctly. Specifically the parts that are visible from the above lands where um, all of the above things happen. Because this one's close by, it's, you know, kind of a concern. Kind of a concern. It's not like super important, but because there are other ones that aren't coded in the slightest. Because again, I've like removed all of this stuff. Should have done. Uh, really, I should have done these crystals near last because of how much I've edited in maybe anticipated editing. But I clearly did it wrong, so. It's no biggie. Wait, right, that should be correct. And this one as well needs to be done up. All of these ones that you can see from the side. Okay. Now, the next layer. For some reason, this reminds me. Like I'm, I'm remembering the uh, crazy uh, Fallout Four. DLC sequence where you go inside of Nick Valentine's head because he's got like the ability, <laughs> well, because he's a robot, he's got the ability to just like hook into computers and stuff. You go into a Cold War submarine's like, database and it's just all kinds of whack. That was a weird DLC. Very good though. It's all kinds of strange things in it. Very many strange things. Okie dokie. That guy's all cootie-wootied. 
This one, this one isn't super important, but I guess I should. Just briefly fix that up. Okay. It's a little better. I definitely need to coat these ones. Jeez. I forget any of this. It's or not forget. I just I guess I forgot that they'd be deleted to some extent, which is kind of something big to forget. Too much to edit, fortunately. Just concentric rings around a big crystal pickle. A big glowing pickle. Gotta love the pickles. Gotta love the pickles. I like pickles. Pickles are cool. And by cool, I mean delicious. It's a real, real delicious. There's something about cucumber that's been sitting in vinegar for many, many days. You know, it's just nothing hits the same. Nothing like pickles. I've been like it. Oh. I don't reside on TikTok. But if I did, that's where I would be. And, ooh. everything oh yeah oh yeah I did diddly did I okie dokie so what on here oh that's like the edge of that so Lead all that. Let's get our colored blocks going. And also, I need netherite spoon. White stained glass. Let's do 50% white. Wow. I might need that coffee now. I don't even have. There we go. Jesus Christ. Light. Gray. Stained glass. Let's do a good. I guess like a 35. Well, this was 25s. Sure. Yes. And the mask is white. Stain glass. And I guess, well, no, it should be fine. Undo that right now. Instead of instead of light gray for the bottom palette, I'm gonna use white only. Actually, white wool. So, it's calcite. Oh my gosh. 
Dog. Every time that dog barks. What's he doing? Aww. Poor baby. He not give him any uh, shade? Why do you do that? That's a little too solid for my purposes. Also, this needs to be smaller. Might as well do that while I'm there. Uh, it's certainly like 5% calcite. So that's 20%. Let's, you know, math this up. 45% white concrete. Um, oh, sorry, sorry. I even read that correctly. Let's do 5% white concrete. Maybe, so I've got 25% pool. That's 10%. So currently it adds up to 20%. Light gray stain glass. No, <laughs> what if I just do white stain? I mean, like, just. No, it just looks kind of odd. Rock tool. this work? Oh, it, kinda, it does kind of work. Uh, this is kind of looking cool. Hey, Bailey, come look at this. Since you're in here, you can't escape. Dude, that's way better than I thought it would look. Holy shit. Oh, that's so cool. That's so awesome. What's going on? He got two pots. He's, he's fucking... That's how they pant. That's how they pant. He's fine. He's fine. This looks awesome. I don't even... Yeah, and this doesn't replace as far as I, I know. Dude, that's so cool. Hmm. 
Yeah. I like that quite a bit. All right, then. I mean, that's just really awesome looking. I might have to... I might have to change how the coloration works down here. Hmm. I think it looks fine from up above. Hmm. Did you get some water? No, you're punishing him. He's fine. Look, he's up and moving. No. Their um their circulation cools them. Remember? They don't have sweat. Well, yeah, that's... So he's got to move around. Yeah, but... He... Yeah, that's... Cats... Cats pant. That's how they cool off. Not like dogs. The fact that he was doing it means that he would have to start playing it. Yeah. But that's what they do. But they move around to, to cool down, so he has to move around. Now he is. So, he's fine. You should attach an aluminum, uh, heat sink to him. Yeah. Trust me, it'll work. It'll work just fine. Uh. Paint. Not a noise painter. Not a painter. Hmm. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> uh. Oh boy. 57,000 blocks. Wow. I might get rid of this. Well, I, I'll just combine it in, like right here. But these other ones, I really don't care about them. I really don't care about them. Um. So this needs something similar. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, golly. Oh gosh, golly darn. Um. Okay, so. What was it? It was. Oh, my netherite thing was. Was that tool. Okay, well, we're gonna do iron shovel for that. Brush cylinder. Air. Starts at 45, right? This will have mask of for now. Include stained glass. Okay. Thirty forty, sorry, forty. And this will go all the way to magenta. What's he doing? He's quiet. That's what he does. Why not? What if he wants to? Did he get behind everything? Wiggling around, I 
think now would be a great time for a break so I can help with the cat briefly. Uh, I will quickly finish this and go stare at the other one for a little bit. Uh, okay, so this is like kind of awkward. This is kind of awkward, so change the mask back to light blue, but this is only going to go 15 out, I think. And it's, well, I get redo, redo, and It's really, uh, okay. He's still panting. It's quite cool in here, so he's cooling off. He's been in hotter weather, so yep. he's just not very healthy right now. Uh, I don't know how far the other one went. Dog is outside barking nonstop. Why? <laughs> Why is he barking like that? be obscured. It's not the worst thing ever. So, um, now, so my mask is magenta. I need it to be Not air, white stained glass. That's pretty good. And now I do five. And I might as well. What? Because, yeah, okay. Thanks. Oh wait, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. It was, it was blue. Well, wow. redo. But I'm just gonna have to change this to a light blue stained glass. And the mask is white. There we go. And change that back to Magenta. And these is to be a 
tad deeper. Now the mask is lime stained glass. Stop barking, oh my god. Oh, he do bark. Yeah, maybe I should do this on the other side. Magenta. To get the blend correct, and certainly on the bottom one. Dog bargain. Apologize if you can hear that creature. He likes to bark. That's his thing. He likes to bark at the cats, specifically. He gets jealous when they have food or when they're doing things or you can't see them. Maybe not jealous, just curious and unable to stop himself. It's not his fault, he's silly. Still sounds like a cartoon to me. Alright. And... I did do... Oh no, yeah, it is. It is blue. It's just a little larger on this side, I think. Um... But now it's green. Oh, that's weird really weird. Why is it like that? Oh, it's just kind of reflecting weird. Um, green is fine. Yes. Green is what is the most like, uh, it's bluer than the magenta, which is like, I, yeah, it is, I, I guess, true. It's, it's not a warm color, so it looks more blue than magenta does. Magenta. It's a warm color. Because it's mixed with red. Red is a warm color. All right. Oh, why is Axiom not working? Is my right shift key broken? No. Uh. What the heck? I'm like really confused. Why is my why is Axion broken? What have I done? This works. This works. I might have to restart the game real quick. Uh There's no documentation for it. What the hell?
is very odd. Uh, I don't want to restart because OBS doesn't like it when you do that and it can crash. I'm really baffled. I mean, my shift key isn't broken. Caps lock isn't on. I press T to do that. Yeah, shift key's fine. I guess let's rebind it and see what happens. No. In that. Okay. Uh, my shift key is not broken. What if I reassign it back? Now that's an experiment. Scan code 310. That's really odd. It thing works, apparently. Uh, I'm just gonna ignore that. Okay. radius down. No, I'm glad I could fix that though. This is very odd in general. That looks much more detailed. I think, in general, adding a little bit more uh, small ones. I wish you could select which things to disable. Like, if I could right click on one of these and it would allow me to bypass everything else, not disable those or uh, not undo those, that would be pretty cool. But uh, I understand that. That's not possible right now. Nice. Okay. Maybe I should do smaller clouds. Hmm. Or maybe I can just do smaller clouds on the on the edges like this. That looks pretty cool, actually. I like that. I'll have to raise some clouds up, so maybe I'll make a layer of of barrier block or whatever around here. And put them in midair. That does look pretty cool. I like that. It's not hard to do either.
Yeah. Okay, I'm pretty proud of that. The white is is a little off-putting on the water itself. It's very, very bright everywhere but... I guess it's not bright everywhere except for the fog. So, maybe I should f somehow fill them? I don't know how I'd do that, though. But filling them with white concrete would would work to brighten them up a lot more and obscure more. But I guess it doesn't really look like mist then. It looks like a block. All right, so let's do something similar here. I guess, and of course I have to redo my finger thongers real quick. So, and actually I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to take a small break real quick and have a neat little view of these waterfalls. Oh, and I never even did this one. Huh. Oops. <laughs> totally forgot to do this guy. Oh, man. I have a lot more work than I initially assumed. I'll stick these shaders on. I don't think it will lag the broadcast. It's It does look a lot better with shaders. Let me check the uh, the latency. Just make sure that it's not terrible. Okay. Yeah. This is just fine. I'm gonna leave you for a second, and I will stick that on. Go take care of the cat for a minute. He's on his blanket. Awesome. Nice. What the fuck is Opera doing? Thank you. Thank you very much, Opera. Hot diggity dang. Alright. We're back. Cat is sitting on his blanket lengthwise so that its whole entire body is along it. Very cute. Very cute, very adorable. Creature is comfortable. Uh, I... Well, I guess... I'll just... Repurpose this one. I need... Well, I, I'll i just go ahead and... Hmm. Hmm. I like the shape of it, but it is kind of annoying, especially that I've already made the larger one. Hmm. 
What do I do about that? Huh? What do I do about that? Right? I sh I'm trying to plan right now in my head how I can make this like a visual and it all revolves around like putting bridges here and making small little paths which is not really something I want to do um uh, hmm Yes. I guess the solution here would be to fill this in and have it like tunnel through over here to like Sign. and come out I don't know somewhere right here which is exactly where I wanted it to come out I kind of have like a I guess a a thingy I was thinking I could Build a series of like stone so have this path just going out, you know, it's ambient, it's whatever, it doesn't really need to be super fancy. But then have a fork of stone bridges, you know, a path that goes along a dirtier path, a path that goes along the edge of this, and then kinda like forks between all of these and uses small little bridges. And then comes out right here. I mean, this is a pretty epic view. I do like it. This is a pretty cool view. It's a neat little river. I can put some rocks on the edges as well. So, either right here, like a stone bridge up here to mimic this one. Or just the path over here. I'm kind of partial to this one because it can go straight across. And just keep on going, you know? It doesn't have to meander too much. But I also like the idea of just a bunch of weird little bridges everywhere. Like, I, I don't know. It just seems like a cool little thing to do. Like a regional thing. Put some culture into the build, right? Something that isn't just locked to being a... Uh, it's just like a method. I can I can do it throughout the map. Especially that way, you know. That is a good idea. Commence ideification. Unfortunately, I need my spoon. Percent cobblestone. This will be, uh, I think, a 15 block. I just need to texture the inside of this, and the mask will be granite. 
andesite, diorite, stone. I think that should be it. I mean, there's not really anything in here. Yeah, I did the whole thing. Cool. Very nice. Trowel, my beloved. Hello? Thank you. I really needed that stone. What the heck? So much gravel. It really fucking loves gra placing gravel on the roof. It places nothing but gravel on the roof. Every time. Jeez. So annoying. Okay. And of course there's gonna be sand. There's gonna be sand. Whether I like it or not, apparently. That can get replaced. I'm gonna put a big boulder here. I Made mean, in granite to match the other one. And I'll make a trough, like I did for the other one. But it's, uh, oh god, Jesus. But it's not gonna be quite as detailed as the other ones. Do that? What the fuck? Why is it? Why is it? I'm not removing this. That's really weird. Okay. It's super weird. It was it was doing something I have not seen before. Huh. All right. Manually do the rest of this. Colors I would like to mix that don't. Hmm. Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. Not a super obvious thing that I need to change. I don't need to look at it. And simply copy grid. Why is there grass there? Yeah, big boulder, why not? Who doesn't like a big boulder? I sure like a big boulder. Let's get some cobblestone and stuff. Nice. That 
is remarkably convenient that it did that. Nice. Because why not? Something a little different. You know? It's not... <laughs> it's not perfect, but... It is different. And I like that it's different. Uh, I do have to do... Ooh, I might need that coffee soon. I said that earlier. I'll take a break in... Let's say... A uh, three hour. The three hour mark. Which will be at exactly 3.30. Just to make sure that we're awake and properly thinking and whatnot. Only gravel. It only places gravel. Oh my god. Alright, that's it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's alright. This needs to... never ever do that again. Thank you very much for listening. Mm, no. I'd rather have sand and whatnot right there. I keep on changing to the wrong one. just gravel and or uh, gravel and cobblestone. Yeah, okay. That, that's a good material list and a good material execution. what I wanted. So, these next couple ones, I don't even know what my brush is at right now, but we're only going to go, I think, three down and then make the smaller clouds. So, let's just, and they're going to be shallower. So, brush, cylinder, air, and this will be, I think, probably like a 20, starting at 20 and going down by five, of course. And the mask for this will be, of course, starting at blank blue stained glass. Alright. That's pretty good. Next. This process is, uh, magenta blue. I wonder what that color is. That's a cyberpunk color. It's gotta be. Ah. Undo. 15. And then... And it would be really convenient, actually. Do. It's very odd to do that. 
and then finally come up on the bottom being blue. Actually. 20. I mean. Yeah, both of those combined. It doesn't quite look right. It'll be obscured by the clouds. Just do that. And then finally, same process over here. 20. Magenta, and finally, in lime. And that one's perfect. Well, okay, so. I don't remember what this one did. I don't think this has a brush right now. Let's do the white with this one, because why not? Cylinder. White. And glass. Five. Mask. Uh, didn't really want to do that. Oh wait. Easy enough to fix. Shinta. Worth it to go a little farther out, but I don't think it'll really make too much of a difference. We don't want it to uh, to blend too far into the other colors, because uh, well, then you get problems. Well, like what you're seeing right now, where it let me do that real quick. Thanks. You get a little rounder. Yeah. 
issues like that where it like kind of blends in weird also this looks awful Do down here. No. That looks a little better. It's still pretty rough though. That's better. All right. Are there places where it just looks really bad? I don't think so. I don't think. I don't think we have any. Yeah, no. Oh. Oh, this is the wrong thing. Of course. It's a little better. Undo that. Undo that. Here we go. Okay. Axiom. Stained glass. I'm going to do the big ones first. Probably a good idea to select the right tool. Not white. That's better. No. a little better. I need, uh, there we, yeah, okay, that's what I wanted. I don't like pebbles, which is weird. It's rather odd. Oh. So next one, of course. Any clouds?
Yeah. That's a... Uh, that's a waterfall, all right. I like that a lot. <laughs> that looks pretty fucking cool. I won't lie, that looks really awesome. I think I need a couple more. Yeah, just like right there. I think I do want to... Mm, maybe not, actually. Very vibrant. I quite like it. And now this can start quite a bit farther back. Maybe do something like that. Quite a bit farther back. Where it... Where I can actually like see some things. There's a stone. I didn't think I missed any of these. Didn't think I missed any of these. Ooh, I fell in a hole. That does look pretty freaking cool. Did, that is super cool. Wow. I'm a fan. And I like this weird, like, diverged river as well. I like it more than another simplistic waterfall. Well, I guess it's going to go out over here. Oh, boy. Because we've got this one. We, we still need all of these tiny little guys. And these ones are, are going to be a little rougher because they go over the crystals. Even, I might. Hmm. Might have more issues with these than anything else. Hmm. Okay, so these two are fine. I think maybe this one needs to divert a little bit here. Oh. Hmm. I have an idea. I have a weird idea. I can come over here and then kind of pull and then come over and then pull again. And then eventually like meet up with this guy over here, which I'll have to make first. Of course. This sucker is useful. Actually need that sucker on other things. Wood shuffle is going to be what I need. Riverbed duels. Cylinder. Gravel. 30%. Cobblestone. This will be uh, 10. And the mask will be air. Well, you know, get that sorted. Mask, air, water. Figured. What's going on? Yes, absolutely. I do need a snack. See me snack. Hmm. 
Yeah, it's better. I'm going to have to make a surgical incision. Uh, let's do 20. I think that'll work a little better. Give me a little bit of room to work. And as well, right here where this one is going to pop out. I think it'll con well, it won't connect by then, because it'll have to uh, meander a little bit. Let's go down by, I guess, one more of these. That should be fine then. Should be fine, I said. I think at this point, it doesn't really matter. Because I'll be covering up with, uh, with glass. Smith this out real quick. Yeah, get, just get rid of things. Smooth, smooth by deleting. a little better. Uh, it, it really, really likes collapsing all that. It's rather annoying. I think I can stabilize it now. No. Quite.
All right. Let's kind of shape this out myself now. Oh, and of course, get the diamond shovel sphere. to do this multiple times today. I really should just like have this copied in a text file. But I don't have to type it out every single time. Um, 50 ish should be a okay. Cause it's just, it's just these two. Fortunately, there aren't too many parts of this one. But the mask. Oh, the mask. Deep slate. Stone. Granite. Diorite. Andesite. And, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, granite. Gravel. Iron. Ore. Coal. Ore. Redstone. Ore. Deep slate. Oh, wait, wait. Lapis. Or. Deep slate. Redstone. Or. And I mean, that really should be fine, but I'll do a couple more. Deep slate. Iron. Or. Uh, and. I'm gonna go with that. Undo. 75. 75 seems to be like a magic number almost. Copper ore. Undo again. Copper ore. It always, always escapes me. There we are. This sucker painted up. These dirts, I'm like kind of, I'm I'm on the fence about the dirt spots. So at one point, like yeah, it's just dirt, but at the other point, it kind of disobeys the rest of the thing. So do I have to get rid of them. I don't. I don't really know sometimes. Just sometimes I'll leave them, sometimes I won't. So it's not a biggie. I certainly absolutely do need to make this into like a up down here so that it can't spill over quite as much as it might want to. I just have to use the melt more. I remember what I am doing. How tall is this? This is six blocks tall, right? One, two, three, four, five here. Okay. This goes down one, two, three, four, five. Wait, so one, two, three, four. I could, uh, could just lower by one back here, but like, I don't want to do that. I'll shape it out. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, I do need to. 
I do need to make do river sides. Because all this is messed up. Actually, um, another thing melt would be good for. <laughs> wow, would you look at that? Genuinely, this just does all of the work for me. I like how, how is this okay that it's just allowed to do all the work for me? I love machines. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, Wait, is there a... Oh, this shows me the data. So this block is at 61. Let's take that away. Gosh. Why equals 61? We will paint it with sand. No. I'd really love it if it didn't highlight it. Free time! You know, that, that's pretty annoying. Why can't I move while I'm doing that? It's Rather obnoxious. It is rather obnoxious that I cannot move much of the time. Just kind of refrain from that for now. Thanks, Dick Doggy. Knew you had it in you. Okay. Yeah, a little better. Now for 59. More interested in the, uh, the grass than anything else. The the dirt shouldn't be there. Basically, is is why I don't like it. Yeah, really, really, really beginning to like want a number ticker on this. It's kind of annoying that I don't have one. I swear. I swear I did it. And this is a block below. The eight. The eight. Okay, okay, okay. I only really want the sand really throughout these uh, the smaller sections. Grass. 
Not a fan. Not a fan at all. Yes, thank you. Thank you so, 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 so much. That'll be that. Also, adding, like, grasses and stuff here is funny. Uh, I will indeed use the stone shovel in the sand section. To do 50% sandstone, 50% sand, and a brush size of 25, a mask of sand. Wouldn't you believe it? Uh, and actually, mask, sand, and sandstone, just to, like, make this proper. I think all of these are fine. And over here... Yeah. Good, 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 good. Looks all good to me. Looks all good to me. Okay. Let's continue doing this thing. What happened here? Uh... I guess that's fine. Why not? Right? Okie dokie. So... Yeah, sure, why not? I guess my alerts aren't working. I just had a thought like, huh, I should probably check that. My alerts aren't working. I'm at 100 subscribers. That's pretty fucking cool. Thanks, guys. Always appreciate it. It's, that is a good number. That is a big number. You guys have outdone yourselves. Absolutely fantastic. It's always my pleasure to be doing this for you. Big. That's big. I only need to do that 10 more times to be partnered. That's cool. And like a good fourth of my subscribers actually came from from recent stuff. So that's that's pretty incredible. You know? I think I got not like I've gotten 30 subscribers in the past month, so... Uh, that's a good number. That's a, that's a pretty, that's a pretty good amount. If I continue to do that... It'll only take... Like... What? So, let's just round up to 100 a month. Oh, sorry, sorry, let's round up to... Uh... To a uh, hundred total in three months, that would be thirty months. A lot. That's a lot of months. Oh my god! I don't know if I can do that. And I have to to pick this up. Jeez. One, two, three. Okay. I 
think putting this farther back would mayhaps look better to some extent. To some extent. Yeah. Yes, it would. Yeah, hot uh, damn. I don't know why my, uh, my alerts aren't working. It's kind of stinky, honestly. That's really silly. But, uh, so anyway, uh, know that I'm grateful and I am not trying to ignore you. It is a thing that I am rather insecure about. It's ignoring people on accident. Uh, da, 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 da. yeah, sure. Oh, 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 why not? It only, it doesn't dab. It doesn't dab. It doesn't dab. Rather, rather nerve wracking sometimes. Okay. Yeah, let's get to the water tools and this should be what? Oh, this should all be sand. Dude, what? Dude, what? That is 63. I never went up. Yeah, this should, this should all be sand. There's absolutely no reason why it wouldn't be sand. Y'all know. Y'all know. Don't care. Sand now. All oh, sand now. Okie dokie. Orkily dorkily. Oh, and just dead. Thanks, dog. Okay, that updated that. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Water tools. Quickly. She kind of. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Awesome. Yo, yo, what's poppin'? I have returned on my laptop. Thank you, Aaron, for coming by. I was so lo It's fine. Welcome back. If you had a good time outside of the stream. We've, uh, I hit 100. My alerts don't work, unfortunately. I need, I need to, like, figure those out. I'm at, I'm at 100 submarinos. That's pretty incredible. I should have my PC, just my PC doesn't have Bluetooth, so I can't use... Oh. Well, that's why you don't use a Bluetooth headset, right? That's just what I would do. I, w I just wouldn't use a Bluetooth headset. Um, yeah, let's push this forward a little bit. Cat is scratching himself. Doesn't look good. So push that. Well, no, I push it forward a little bit, and then I do something like that. That looks much better. Thank you. Yeah, I've uh, I have never used Bluetooth headset. I've used Bluetooth mice, but only for like work. Like I've ever really had. Bluetooth mouse that I actually enjoyed in any way. Uh, I got this one. It's funny. Your laptop is funny? Uh, yeah. But like, you know. 
I mean, who cares if it's your if it's your school laptop? Take it. You paid for it, right? Right. Not that I care, actually. Go ahead. Don't pay for things. Unless it's something I'm selling, just don't. Just don't pay for it. Student loans? Don't care. Your house? Don't care. There's nothing you should pay for. I never got a school laptop, so. Lucky guy over here. Fancy schmancy school laptop guy over here. I wish I got a school laptop. My laptop broke during a, during a period where I had to type a few essays. So I was kind of stuck for a while, and that sucked. Oh, yeah. I forgot that you live in a sane country. Hold on. I have done goofed. You've done goofed. Men and women of this stream, I have done goof. I forgot that you live somewhere nice. There's so many places that I have to memorize. I'm an American. You can't expect too much of me. Come on. Your sheep are free. Yeah. <laughs> kind of wishing my brother went to went to a different country uh, for uh, for his school, but Switzerland has like the best program for what he's doing so it's kind of a kind of a whatever moment at least he got to go abroad and stuff that that part's real cool that part's real cool you know still expensive though he went to school here first which is like horrible i've got to pay off my uh, my loans soon Unfreaking dickety do that. Oh my god. Hold on. I really wish Axiom had a pause. Wait, Axioms, you can pause it. Whoa, that okay. I didn't know that. That's cool. That's real cool. That's that's real freaking cool. Forgot that I live in a country that isn't entirely full of overpriced healthcare student loans and it really is just the overpriced healthcare and student loans like <laughs> yeah that's really just what's making everything awful which you know is caused by a few things yeah i've got to start paying mine are i don't know how much mine are because I have loans and my parents have loans for me, so we're paying it separately. And uh, I don't have money, so... And I'm kind of doing this all day, every day. So that's, that's kind of a thing. That's kind of a thing. It's, uh, it's a little stressful. I, I am making money, so it's not like I'm... It's not like I'm destitute, right? Come on, stop that. Oh, well, higher crime rate is because of poverty. And also really lack lackadaisical. Uh, cop training and all that. There's a lot of reasons. We won't get political on here. YouTube's different than Twitch. Trust me, I'm angrier than you are. <laughs> I am far angrier than you are. So you don't you don't need to preach to the choir. It doesn't matter. I don't really care about alcohol. Honestly, I think I think really what matters is alcohol uh, training, potty training. You have to teach your kids to to be proper. Other countries have have horrible alcohol problems just as just as well as we do so it's certainly not because because of that um people get addicted to things here because they're poor 
because they're poor and they have nothing better to do. So, you know, it's, it's, there's very specific reasons for lots of problems here. Um, namely, of course, just poverty, poverty and education. That's kind of it. It's really hard to get a job here too. It's water five. That shouldn't, okay. That shouldn't be too bad. That sucks. No. Um. Oh, <laughs> I've explained this about 40 times now. Uh, Twitch, I didn't like Twitch. In general. Did not enjoy Twitch. It was nice for a while, and I made great strides towards, like, kind of making a community, but it's so much effort on Twitch. And this, uh, this uh, YouTube is not that much effort, honestly. It, it really isn't hard to find gratification for what I do on YouTube. It, it just, it feels nicer. It feels like people actually exist, you know? He's got a point. <laughs> I just, like, Twi Twitch makes you go through, like, so many, so many steps to, uh, just to, like, exist, I guess, is, is, is really what I, I would, uh, call it, just to, like, let people know that you exist, and YouTube doesn't, you know, you have a lot you have a lot more leniency. Um, what the fuck? Come on, dude. You have a, a lot more leniency on, on YouTube for... for who and where, and also, you know, discoverability and all that. It's... is not nearly as bad, so... Yeah, it's just a, just a thing I decided. Uh, my OBS was crashing, so I was like, now's as good a time as any to, like, just go for it? What? What in Christ? What in Christ? Why is it doing this? I redo all this. There we go. And I'll get this running. Um, so yeah. Like over if I'm gonna restart streaming on Twitch or YouTube. I would just go for YouTube. Twitch has treated their their people really poorly recently. Um very like anti-creator. You know, the whole fucking point of being here is to just create and do stuff, and if you can't do that with any like comfort and knowledge that you're uh that you're going to be appreciated. It uh, it gets tiring. Like I I burn out real easy on Twitch because like, you know I can have one person here, but at least I know that other people are seeing it. Right. It's not nearly as empty. I go to kick. Yeah, that that's always an option. So why not, right? Oh, rush sphere. Barrier. Ask. Hold block. Please. Um. Yeah. I. I mean. I thought about checking out Twit. Uh. Kick. But all my. All my content is on YouTube, and YouTube is gargantuan. It is absolutely incredibly large, and there aren't too many reasons. To, uh, there aren't too many reasons to, to not be on YouTube, you know. I just don't know if Kick Trees. Ah, uh, I mean, I would guess so. I, 
would guess so. Considering how many people have been moving over there recently. But also, it's just like the next big thing. Like, someone got a really big uh, deal and then, you know, it's, it kicked off. Literally. Haha. <laughs> Funny. Unintended. Uh, oh gosh. Oh gosh, golly. I don't need that in this inventory. I want... Yeah. I don't... I really don't like this. That it's so, uh... Okay, I'm gonna switch back and here old block 15 mask barrier so this is the opposite it shows me where they are contrast between these categories what categories stuff on my channel Yeah, I need to like push this back by one. I think like right here should be fine, and then I think the the problem is that the sides of this are much different than they normally are for the rivers that I make on this like if you look over here well I guess not really they're just a little steeper on this one I lied oh hold on you just you can't just walk in the litter box without doing anything oh that creature that creature. Are you looking at kick right now? That would make sense. I don't know. I just, I don't even, I don't watch streamers on Twitch. I, I'm not part of the Twitch community. I just straight up am not. You know, I've found streamers that I actually enjoy. And, you know, I'll, I'll participate briefly. But I never get anything out of it. You know, I never, I put in a lot of effort for other people because I actually enjoy them. And I don't so much care about like the, the exchange there. It's not about that. It's more just like, it'd be nice if people kind of like looked at me once in a while. It's okay if you just like don't care. Like I don't at this point. You just notice what? Yeah, YouTube actually really likes me, which is, you know, it's good to see. It, it really likes me when I post something good, you know, and it, and it, it picks me up super fast and, uh, I don't know, it's just, it's just really good. It just, YouTube just kind of like works out, I guess. But, um, but Twitch doesn't have a content algorithm for permanent stuff, so... Like, like, this is getting pushed. My stream is getting pushed by the algorithm. The more likes it gets, the more viewers it's getting, the more chat it's getting, the higher up in the algorithm it gets, right? Stream Elements think so, too. Um, so, look, you chatting is benefiting my channel directly. You understand YouTube on a fundamental level and <laughs> I try I try thank you oh oh guys it's Friday meaning it's not Thursday anymore meaning you can check your epic games your free epic games um yeah I, I just just which doesn't have any of that you know which doesn't have any of that thank you for the like I don't think I can put alerts for likes, but that would be really cool if I could do that. Like a little tiny like uptick in the corner. Um, I think it's a thing on the, like there's a heart icon or something in the chat. I don't actually know. It doesn't, it's not 
there anymore for me. I committed a <laughs> you weren't so I don't I don't have my alerts don't function. So this is here. I'll actually go and show you what my alerts are supposed to look like for this. And of course it's logged me out. It log in here and I'll show you what my alerts look like. Because I, I did set them up. They, they look pretty all right. I mean, they're just basic. I don't have, um, I don't have like super anything going on. But for instance, if I go to YouTube, like the chat works. So the alert should work, right? Let's emulate a subscriber event. That's what it's supposed to look like. It has like a jumpy thing. It's got pink and red text. It's very cool. Let's simulate a tip event. You know, <laughs> like they work, but they just, they don't send to my stream when you guys do stuff. I, I love basic alerts. Just like a stupid little video is hilarious to me. Um, just, yeah, I just, I have no idea how, why it doesn't function. Cause I mean, you just saw it. Like it, it says the night, it says nice cock. It does the spinny frog. You know, that's what it's supposed to do. But yeah, I, I stream elements is messed up I, I really don't get why, why stream elements is is so buggy all the time and not the good kind of buggy not the good kind of buggy um yeah okay that's yeah that's fine Tim like the sand does a thing I don't I don't know I don't know I'm just I'm just here so I don't get by uh, yeah. The only thing I don't like about YouTube is that I can't find fill my screen with three fourth stream, one fourth chat. I usually have minimized uh, stream on, uh, or I have the smallest stream. Cause you know, I well, I you might not know since you don't watch it like that, but um, since you like streams and I don't, we're different. So. The, the way I watch streams, typically with chat mainly, because I'm there for the, you know, the community and, and all that. I'm not there for, um, for pretty much anything else. I, I'm only there to hang out with the community. And, uh... Kind of it. I'm just, I'm just there to hang out with the. It just works. <laughs> it just works. Yeah. So I, I'm there to hang out with the community. So I don't, I don't really care about the. Um, I don't really care about anything else. I don't care about the, the like view or anything. But also, like when I am watching something, I hate the screen being covered in crap. I don't know how people get successful doing those streams where like their entire screen is like a giant box and their camera is like a fourth of the screen and the game is like a tiny little box next to chat. <laughs> like I, I don't know how people enjoy that in any way. It makes no sense to me. Cause that shit's ugly. It takes no effort, and it's just ugly. Um, I put a little, a lot of uh, effort into into making sure my stream is viewable. So like the most I'll put is a camera and like my tag down there, you know, Froggy, Mr. Froggy down there, which is kind of he's he's there to get. He's there to keep you company. Also, my stream, my stream on my side is like five minutes behind. Uh, so would it look better if some of the water wasn't just cut? Out? Yeah, well, that's what I'm trying to remedy. Y you've caught on to what I'm trying to fix. There we go. Well, you've caught on to what what I'm tempting to uh, to remedy. That looks terrible. That looks terrible. I think that that looks fine. Um, 
But yeah, this streams are weird, man. My entire shtick is that I have a hand cam in the top left. And chat on another monitor. Can, yeah, well, I have my OBS on this monitor. I have my analytics and controls for other things like music, Discord, uh, my stream thingy, what is studio? I don't even know what it's called. Uh, and my camera's right here on top of my monitor. And then I've got backlight. So, like, I, I, I can control everything in OBS. I have a mute key. As you can see. There you go. Uh, I can change scene. I change scenes manually. Some people have, like, a hot key for it, but I, I'm not into that. <laughs> the luxury. Well, I work uh, for IT, and my father has been an IT man my entire life. And thus, I am privileged in having uh, technology that not everybody really has access to readily. Because he just gets given stuff a lot of the time. He just gets given things uh, like monitors and junk PCs and stuff like that. That he fixes up and salvages and gets them working again, stuff like that. Um, we would like this to go farther down so it can join in properly and not cut off so suddenly. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. Nice. Um, so, yeah, I, I have the benefit of a very large library of technology um, and also you know years and years and years of essentially just being an IT tech as a kid you know like I've, I've been doing this my whole life there's a reason that I'm working for him now it's because I'm actually somewhat competent at something other than streaming it's my only two skills are Minecraft, talking to people. Well, my only three skills are Minecraft, talking to people, and being in, you know, understanding technology. So, thought I might use it. School didn't work out, so I'm just kind of like, I'm not a burnout. I'm a burnout. I was so good at school that it destroyed me. Uh, yeah. Being autistic in uh, in modern day school really sucks, dude. It sucks so much. It sucks so much. Yeah, it's it's really awful most of the time. Um, but yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm I'm just I just kind of exist, man. I just kind of exist. I just kind of exist. If school if school was free, I definitely would have felt more comfortable quitting. It was a really hard decision for me. Cause like I, like here, school is like your family's entire livelihood. And it's like the only way to be successful. So I kind of needed to finish it. And I almost did. You know, don't get me wrong. I, I did really well in school. It just sucked the soul out of my body. Oh, I thought I... This is the sub tool. It allows you to slope terrain between two points. To use the tool, click once to set the target position, then move your mouse to a different position, and click plus drag to draw a slope between the two points. That did... F wait. Oh, wait. Oh. Uh. But like, huh, that's weird. Being called gifted when you start doing <laughs> that stuff. Um, I was, I, I actually joined the gifted program, the gifted program late. So, uh, I just, well, I went to a magnet school. I, I didn't join it late, but I'm a certain combination of autism and ADHD 
that sort of like robs me of a lot of, or doesn't rob, but prevents a lot of the, the ADHD problems from being problems. So for instance, I have a functioning memory, right? So everybody knew I was kind of smart when I was in, in school. I of course have you know, the, the syndrome where I just, you know, I'm smart enough to know how not smart I am and I doubt myself all the time. But, uh, but other people, of course, you know, just encouraged me to do the, all the smart kids stuff. So I did. And, you know, turns out I'm pretty smart. Terrible at math. I'm actually, I'm, I'm, I'm good at math, but I am bad at grasping math. You know, getting it. I'm, I'm bad at, like, like understanding it on a fundamental level um so that that does suck uh, functioning memory yeah i know like like i can still for i still forget you know like like you walk into a room and you were about to do something and now you don't know and there's no way to know and you're gonna remember like when you go back in the next room and you realize you know your mom needs needs an ambulance called Oh, no. yeah, I, I definitely still have that, but but also I have memorized every plot to every book I've ever read, including textbooks. So, and I don't do it with any effort. I just, it just happens, you know, and that's not an ADHD thing. And I was diagnosed with, with ADHD when I was like four, so... You know, we've known I'm ADHD my whole life. We didn't know I was autistic. We didn't know I was autistic. We knew I was high functioning, like ADHD or something, or, or I don't even know how, how the terms work for ADHD, but that's a thing. I was labeled ADHD before, um, before ADD stopped being a thing. Gifted Kids Unite, truly. Bailey is, ADHD through and through, and she is excellent at math. She is incredible at math, and uh, and helps me quite a bit. She's not good at basic math. She she did the thing where she where she learned so many advanced properties and um, and methods in a category that she forgot how to do it. Uh, the the simple way she for, she forgot how to you know she she's not very fast <laughs> at simple math but she can do calculus on fucking paper and it's nuts and I never took calculus or understood it basic math is really really easy for me I have a fundamental grasp of how that that a lot of people don't have it seems the ability to just like add and subtract shit in your head uh, without thinking just having like a kind of instinct for like oh yeah it's around here and sometimes you're exactly right but most of the time you're just kind of like a couple numbers off i don't know my times tables for example i don't know my times tables i just put it all together and figure it out uh never never memorized my times tables because it was really hard for me to do that like, I was expected to know those, and I full-on failed that test as a kid, so. Mental math is, yeah. You're very fast with a calculator, Bailey. Fastest calculator in the West. You're not in the West. Fastest calculator in the South. Um, but yeah, so like, it's like a lot of weird shit, you know? You just kind of like, get used to it. You get used to people not like seeing you normally and feeling stupid but then other people you know being stupider which is horrifying most of the time by the way absolutely horrifying yeah i can guess privately but i have no clue how to do it because i usually do copy yeah well that's a thing i just i mean i can i have a very good grasp on visual math um so like the center of this thing it's just a measurement this is an even structure and the center is i don't know it's just a thing it's really weird
Um, it's really weird. Not everybody can do that. My eyes are accurate. My eyes are accurate up to an eighth of an inch measurement. Uh, so that's a thing that I know. I know because I, uh, did a project in physics and it relied on like, as, like how accurate you could get it. And I did a last second measurement. It was like, guys, we need to change this by an eighth of an inch, an eighth of an inch, an eighth of an inch, guys, come on, just do it. And we did it and we got one, we got it 100% correct. So, uh, that was the thing I did. Remember they just come up with a method to do something like multiple? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of how I do multiplication usually. I just add everything together really fast. It's not impressive. It's not complicated. It's just... It is multiplication at, at the core, isn't it? <laughs> to just add it all together and... You just go with it, you know? So, you know, I... I that's weird. Being being in the gifted program was weird because there were so many people who weren't special, I guess, ADHD, you know, neurodivergent of some kind, and who were just so smart, like, like almost scary smart. And I just felt kind of bad all the time as a kid because I wasn't as smart. I was supposed to be like them, and I wasn't. I wasn't like them, and it uh, it sucked to some extent for sure. To, like have that stress on me to be like as good as everybody else of course like grades matter in a magnet school so you'll get you'll get sent elsewhere uh, I was not good at sixth grade math eventually got it but I was not good at at math throughout high school and middle school uh, elementary school I remember like, like uh, I think I think the the fa my favorite story and like the worst story I can tell about like when uh, like when ADHD really started to be a problem was preschool and I have this really awful memory um, like very vivid memory um, like I see it like it was yesterday or even in the now. Cause it was it was pretty awful where uh i went to school of course and it was reading day we were supposed to be reading and stuff and we were doing our uh, our literacy tests and whatnot and i couldn't read and the teachers just like kept on saying like i know you can read liam like like just just read just do it for us so, so we can mark you down because we know you read a lot and uh and like this test is just a formality it's just a number right and it wasn't because i was stressed like i've been reading books since i was i don't know like four or five probably before i don't i don't even know i i've been able to read pretty competently f as a kid for reading isn't hard for me i'm a very fast reader um, I pronounce words wrong because I read so much and that's the first place that I encounter them usually. And, uh, this one day I just, I just couldn't read. I just couldn't read one day. And, uh, that's ADHD for you. I, reading isn't hard, reading in front of people, uh, well, that's a stage fright thing, I guess, or performance anxiety thing. You're, oh my god, smudge, stop fucking the litter, Jesus Christ. Astro! Hello, Astro! We are out here. Hello, people. What a greeting. A magnificent greeting. Um, but yeah, it's fucking... Astro, we're talking about, uh... We're talking about how being ADHD and neurodivergent is really, really hard as a kid. Being told you're special and stuff, and then not actually being that smart. <laughs> um... Reading out loud? I, I just really have a great grasp of language. I mean, I'm a, I'm a smooth talker. Let me do that shit. Stop that. I'm a really firm talker. 
Astro, how are you doing, Astro? What's going on? Am I at 101 subscribers right now? Because Aaron, I know Aaron subscribed. I can trigger a, uh, I can trigger a, an alert for you. Wait, maybe I just need to, to, um, hold on. Hold on. I'm going to refresh it. If someone hasn't subscribed, don't do it yet. Wait, like, two minutes, and then do it. Because I've just refreshed the alerts, and hopefully they'll, they'll function. Rain 10. Yeah, we're, we're just out here talking about childhood trauma with our disabilities. Um, but yeah, that day sucked. That day as a, as, a, as a small little child was pretty awful in general. It just... It just really wasn't fun. 100. Oh my gosh. Aaron, you've brought me above the 100 mark. That's pretty nuts. That's pretty incredible. I'm in someone's YouTube list, and I think that's nuts. I've seen 88. Uh, brother has had it since birth, so I don't know what it's like, but I know it's, it's so hard. It's so hard to go to school. I'm autistic as well, so... You know, just not understanding how things work in general is part of my issue. But, but also like being forced to do that while not understanding human beings as a societal structure, as like organisms that that you know do things and function. You know, <laughs> it's just like. I don't I I I had a rough time as a kid. Let's just say that. I had a real rough time. And I'm still having a rough time. Uh, no, I mean Bailey, for example, has has only just been been diagnosed recently. So she's she's been dealing with this without any kind of knowledge of, of what's going on for years. For so long now. And of course, every, not every ADHD kid is the same. Not every ADHD adult is the same. And uh, it, it gets it gets weird sometimes, especially when you have co uh, co disabilities like autism that really really change how it works. And autism doesn't develop fully until you're you know it's it's a gradual incline. So when you're if you if you are genetically autistic, it's not guaranteed that you have every single trait of autism as a child, and it gets worse as you age. Meaning, and I will tell you right now, I wasn't autistic as a kid. I only became autistic in high school. Like I genuinely didn't have the the level of traits to be diagnosed until high school. Which is why I've only recently been diagnosed with it. Like, I have ADHD. What's the gold for it? The gold is being converted to these suckers, to barrier blocks. See, I have a whole system here. Oh, actually, I need to... I need to get the sand out. The sand needs to come out. You get in my mouth. My goodness, it has not been 30 minutes since the last time that match has played. Come on, stream elements. Get your shit together. Um, I have ADHD, autism, and I'm a perfectionist, but I don't have the mental... I think perfectionism is less of a... I don't think you're a perfectionist. I think you're just autistic. Because I'm not a perfectionist, but I'm a perfectionist. Like you, I think you know what I mean. Like the, the overwhelming urge that you like, you need to finish it. You need it to be right. But that's not perfectionism because you would rather it not take that much effort. You'd rather just chill, right? You're not you're not into being perfect. You're just unable to stop it. Unless that's the definition of perfectionism. In which case, I'm talking out my ass and I don't actually know what I'm saying but um oh no 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 um 
a live session to help make YouTube streamers. Yeah, that would that would be neat. There's a live section in my channel. So if you go to my channel, there's a live and it shows all of the live streams as VODs, which is really, really nice. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that, I, I think it's just autism. I think that's just how autistic people work. It's the, the like overwhelming urge to, to fix it, which is part of social anxiety and stuff arising as uh, problems in young adults with autism. It's like the inability to stop yourself from saying or correcting people is part of that. It's part of that uh, that perfectionist ideal. That's how I am. I sporadic. I, I like full on like can't help myself a lot of the time. Oh, I like that quite a bit. Oh, I like that quite a bit. Sir. Yes, I do. That was a terrible, terrible impression. I hope Xandard is somewhere in here. Listening to me butcher his native language. Um, well, according to Google, perfectionism is a common trait among native. I guess that's just what perfectionism is then. I won't pretend to be an expert. I'm terrible at being a perfectionist. just not good at things um oh thank you thank you astro you are a gym yeah live section is 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 really funny fun because i mean they're permanent the cool thing is that it's all permanent uh i feel like i'm a perfectionist too but i don't actually try to be perfect it's more of trying to live up to unrealistic expectations but what's the difference? Like, where do you draw the line in, in definitions? Because, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, that's that's just as that's just as debilitating as as what I have, which is an inability to stop. I mean, you've seen me like need to finish a project on a game and being unable to stop until I'm done with it, right? So it's I don't know. It's there's a thin line there that isn't necessarily clear. I used to be a perfectionist, but now I just have way, way too high standards for myself. But yeah, unrealistic expectations. Well, Bailey's Bailey's graduated from college, and so she's going through that that time period where, you know, you know what you're talking about, but like, you're still a child in people's eyes, and it's it's infuriating and silly because you're smarter than them your school expectations are harder on average than people that are that were uh, that graduated before you uh, like within the last 15 years so like it, it's just like a crazy mind boggle that like at that people ex like you're supposed to be perfect but you don't need to be because you're already like way better than everybody else. Um, whenever I don't like something I've made, bread, for example, other people say it's good. It just feels like they're saying it out of pity. Yeah. Yeah, that was. What is going on? It's like prioritizing something, dude. Stream elements, stream elements. You silly Billy. Oh wait, no, that's my Instagram. Oh, and that's my Discord, sorry. Not my Instagram. The YouTube one has played twice, though. But yeah, that's my Discord, not the not the other one. Um, you're not expected to be smarter, honestly. A high-functioning Otis just, I think, typically do things in a way that, that makes, uh, makes intellect easier. It's not because they are naturally smarter or naturally better at anything in particular. I fully believe, and now I'm not a psychologist, so you uh, do take this with a grain of salt. Um, it's, it's not at all because we're naturally smarter. I, th I think it is 
100% the product of how our minds work on a fundamental level. Just, and also being ostracized from society to some extent makes a person more likely to seek out ways of, uh, of existing outside of, uh, outside of being a person. So reading, escapism, video games, that kind of thing. Carpentry, any kind of interest is going to be an escapist method for an artist who doesn't have friends, doesn't have a good social life, even if they do have friends, doesn't have uh, a good opinion of themselves and so therefore avoids a social life in general. It's uh, it's the methods by which we think and function in society that make us more intelligent, not necessarily being more intelligent. Any artist, any any neurodivergent person is subject to the same intellectual rules as everybody else at the end of the day, and their, their suffering is what makes them seek out information, I guess. And also, you know, people tend to attribute um, an ability to recite knowledge as intellect, and it's like, man, I just know this shit. I don't actually know what it means, right? I don't understand why you're, uh, I'm balancing between having high standards for myself and not giving myself enough credit. Yeah, I kind of, I, yeah, you have those days where, where I have to, like, notify you that you're doing well, I guess, or, or I, or you're really hard on yourself, and, like, there's kind of no reason, and I have to let you know that you shouldn't be that hard on yourself. Is that one... Oh, yeah, painter, of course. Um, I feel like I'm better than the average person at learning languages because I never really had to learn English. Uh, that's just skill. Some people are built for languages, some people aren't. Langu language learning is very hard. I learned Japanese and I forgot all of it so fast. I mean, you wouldn't believe how fast. I stopped going to class and like, you know, I, I left class. I, I dropped it and, and stuff and just thought it was stupid. So, so I quit and I just instantly, all that knowledge out of my brain. Don't need it anymore. <laughs> I, I do plan on relearning Japanese and, and uh, a few other languages actually. Well, Austrian, which is a variant of a Germanic language. The Austrian German, right, is a specific dialect of German. I've only heard Swiss German and German German, so. Don't even bother learning Italian. Sorry, Italians in chat, but, uh, just learn Spanish instead. You can you can get by in Italy with Spanish as well. Yeah, Austrian is a German dialect. That's what I figured. That's how that's how the Swiss German people speak. Just a dialect of German. Um, yeah, languages languages are hard for me sometimes. I think it's the commitment. So I'm good at the learning part. I'm bad at the commitment part. Which is, uh, because of my inability to time things properly, my inability to, uh, to have responsible, um, I guess responsible periods of, of learning. So I, I don't, I can't put, I can't push myself through that disciplinary stage a lot of the time it was hard with Japanese and I managed to do it and uh, and I really did rapidly learn once I figured out how to discipline myself to, to learn it properly but but other languages you know like learning a language on my own is really hard or for calling it a language as an Austrian I speak German Austrian and English okay well do you speak German or do you speak Austrian German because the accent 
and the words are what matter. Do you know the German German? Or do you only know the Austrian German, right? Goats are yelling at me. I hope that caught on, on mic. I'm still upset that my Mexican mother didn't teach me Spanish during I know, right? I'm I'm a little mad for you. And by a little I mean I'm more than a little because I could have learned Spanish from you. I would have been forced to be a bilingual boy. Well, a trilingual boy. This guy's an awesome movie. It's 11 p.m. I'm gonna go to sleep. It is quite late for you guys. You should absolutely go sleep. It's healthy. German, German, Austrian, German, and Swiss German. Oh yeah, you're right next to fucking Switzerland. Dude, that's crazy. An absolutely incredible night. You've kept me great company this whole stream. I hope you sleep well. And good luck in the next day. American German. I speak gamer. You speak elite. Uh, I, I work for a therapist office. A speech therapist office. And they're all gamers. And uh, my dad has stated that, that sometimes they're straight up just elite speak in there. It's just hilarious. They're all like in their... 30s to, to 40s as well. It's great. Oh, yes, of course. I need to do this. Gamer English. American German. American German is a dialect. Right? I even speak MLG. Dude, we all speak MLG. You guys are getting uh, are getting those those headshots, aren't you? Those 360 no scopes. I might play some uh might neglect the Valheim tonight and and hit the uh, hit the battle pit servers. Anybody's still up? Mhm, mm mhm. Mm Dog is barking like a madman. Bailey's gone to arrest the fool. What is he barking at? There is a dog. What is he barking at? All it was was just me hearing it in school and picking it up, just like I did my Australian, Irish, American, British, and gamer accents. That makes it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm fair at accents. I'm fair at accents, and I think it comes from being able to just mimic people. That's like half my personality, dog, is just mimicking people. Personality, dog, gives you a personality. Like a, like a lot of the time, I can. I can mimic this guy that I really admire named Amphibu Amph Amphibious Amphibian. Ambiguous Amphibian, who is a former math teacher. And he talks like this a lot. He just, he just does things, you know? He says things and they're disturbing, but they're also calming, you know? I don't think we quite know everything about how mimicking functions but if i'm anything like a chameleon i think i think we might advance our knowledge quite a tad ambiguous amphibian amphibious ambiguous is what i said amphibious ambiguous next time i catch a stream I'm, I'm putting that in chat and he will read it and be amused mm, yes you should amusing that, you should change your whole branding and become amphibious and ambiguous. <laughs> yeah. I do the opposite content as him too. N maybe not the opposite, but I do the inverse kind of co uh, uh, content that's very long form and and less challengey and more just like I'm doing this thing, I'm doing this thing, and I'm existing. Ambiguous ambiguous. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. What did you guys have last time you had burger? Boogers. Burgers? Yeah. Did we had veggie burgers? All veggie burgers? All veggie burgers. Did Beyond Burger? Yes. The big ones? Okay, I think I might I might make those. But it, that would be the rest of them. Well the Beyond and Bid Viewless. Ambiguous Ambiguous I should get that tattooed on on my arm, on my forehead. Like my personal personality is just an amalgamation of yeah, pretty much. 
I am an indi- I am stubborn enough to be individual. I don't struggle with knowing who I am. Although it was certainly a problem in high school where I just didn't have a personality except for, like, a copy of people around me. Which wasn't awesome, because some of the people around me weren't great people. And they weren't terrible people, it's nothing like that. But, like, just not very... Not people I would like to be. Smart, intelligent, responsible, but boring. Boring and just... Like, so much to the fact that, it, like, they're... They're clashing, like, mixtures... You know, because everybody uses uses other people's personalities as a as an anchor, but mm -hmm. autistic people do it to such an extent that it can be harmful, and it doesn't really make sense. You know, being accused of like copying someone, for example, is a problem with being autistic, which never happened to me, but it has happened to people I know, and. Uh, you know, being called annoying and all that is, is of course, a, a side effect of being annoying. I mean, autistic. <laughs> uh. You know, like, one, one thing I, I've always liked about you is you're very- I'm annoying. No. I annoy you. You're, you, you know, I feel like you had, you already- before we met, had the thing of, like, figuring out who you are, the, you know, in the way you're supposed to, like, as a teenager. Yeah. And I didn't really get that, um, so much. Good night! But also, it's, it's funny. I, well, autistic Me people- feeling like you already have yourself figured out, and then, you know, beginning of this year, like, finding out your- <laughs> you're autistic, you know. It, yeah. Kind of help me realize yeah. that you know you you don't have to have everything figured out. You or do. You never, you never have everything. You do. Fully no, I just have down. what I know, so. what I want to do, and that's kind of just all I. That's all I know. I I don't have an idea. I just know what I like and what I don't. And before Astro, or sorry, before Aaron heads out of here, uh, is it an ego if it's just how, if it's confidence? Like, like I've been struggling with this, with this question for a while now. Like, the knowledge in your own abilities is, like, it's a fact, right? You should be able to treat how you actually are intellectual intelligent able as a fact you shouldn't have to be humble about every one thing and that that leads into self-deprecating humor which can in turn harm your own your ego an ego is important to have you're not supposed to be someone who just sucks it all up and 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 you know just it performs for other people you're supposed to be a person and I think people who don't know how autism really functions just are are very incapable of understanding that fact that that we're not egotistical, we're not arrogant, we're able to understand exactly what we're we're even more we're we're so humble we're even more humble than the average person because we absolutely know our limits. Mm -hmm. We don't we don't trick ourselves or tell other people that we're less. But when we are less, we yeah. Well, that's a thing. We're like, but like also like, if I'm talking to like a CEO or something or you know like like a fifty year old say like old people. The really love to flout, uh, flaunt their age. Sorry, flaunt their age, uh, and and you know stick it to the youngins, it's like back in my day or whatever. And and that's a thing that they do liberally when it comes to people like me who absolutely know how 
you know, I'm not stupid. I can, I can interpret and extrapolate how life functions. I don't need an old person to tell me how it works. Right. And that's something that a lot of people think is like hubris or arrogance. It's like, no, I just, I don't want to hear your stupid excuses teaching me something I've already learned. Right. Yeah, they don't My brother does this a lot. Why you're saying what you're saying and how yeah. you're saying it, you're not saying it because you think you know, oh, I know better than them, blah, blah, blah. There's arrogance, which is an inability to accept that you are not something, that you are not an engineer or you are not a mechanic, that you are not a teacher, that you don't know better than some people. That's an inability to do something. But then there's just understanding exactly where you stand. And, and you know, people call it an ego. I call it awareness, self-awareness. The most uncommon and most important type of awareness. How are you supposed to know who you are if you're not self-aware, basically? So yeah, your point, your point, knowing, knowing who you are is, is good. Know your, knowing your place. But like, of course, I'm not going to tell a mechanic how to do his job. But if I have an idea with my limited understanding, I'm going to say something about it. And maybe I'm right. It's worth saying something and learning if it's wrong, right? It's not presuming to know something more. It's helping. You know, too many people get this idea in their head that that if you if you say something that or, or rather if you if you try to help to some extent, you are over over uh, bearing or your uh, or you're overriding someone else's someone else's authority. And it's like. I don't know. I think that's stupid. I think that's actually stupid. Because there's, cause there's no premise for it. It doesn't make any sense, right? It doesn't make any sense that that, that, that would be something that, that you'd have to worry about. Right? Like, why should I have to worry about someone else feeling insecure about their position? It's not my fault that they're insecure, right? So that's that's my that's my like overall just idea of that is is that people tend to get it mixed up and people tend to get these things mixed up and, and don't really know how we function. Um, everything I say it doesn't come from a place. Yeah, basically, basically, Not everything I say is is expert. And and when I know that, and there's a bigger expert in the room. I can, I can, I can accept that they know what they're talking about and I don't. Not even that. I'm not talking about anything because they're talking about something. You know, being quiet during a class, basically. Which uh, some people don't know how to do. You know, some people don't know how to be quiet during a class, which is arrogance. What is this? This is a uh, cat. But yeah, I I would say that autistic people are often taken quite quite uh, contrary to how they actually feel. They're 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 abused from afar. Basically, it, it would be something that, that I would describe. Um, ideas and, and personalities are given to us when we don't have our own and when we act on our own. And those ideas and, and whatnot can uh, and, uh, or, or, or that action, you know, the action of giving someone a personality that isn't actually there of arrogance, of, of, um, I guess, uh, yeah, 
uh, arrogance is a good word. I'm searching for for a better way to say it, but there, I mean there really isn't, as, as far as I can tell. Um, hooting, that that happens. It's like like being told that you're something that you're not, essentially. Being told that you are, you know, that you're a jerk, that you're that you're uh, arrogant or whatever. And it's like, yeah, maybe that's true to some extent, but it's not my intention and it is not who I am. I'm not trying to make you feel bad about yourself. You just feel bad about yourself. What am I supposed to do about that, right? And of course, like, there's the willingness to accept. Like, yeah, I can, I can change a little bit. I can be a different person. I can... I can, uh, I can attempt to be kinder to people and not speak my mind quite so harshly, but beyond that, you know, like, it's masking, it's inappropriate, it's, it's unhealthy, even, to, um, to go to such extent in, in your willingness to accommodate others. Because if they're not going to accommodate you, then to what extent should you accommodate them? For instance, I sound rather angry sometimes. And by sometimes, I mean that's just what my voice sounds like. I, I have a, I have an infuriated vo voice much of the time. And people don't really get that. I'm not actually angry, I just sound that way. And sometimes I'm annoyed when I sound like that, but oftentimes I'm just speaking. Marco Pierre White, when he said, I didn't make him cry, he made himself cry. Basically. Yeah, the, the willingness to accept that other people are responsible for how they feel. I'm not responsible for how you feel when you're wrong. That's not my job. It's your job. Right? It's your job to understand when you are wrong. It's your job to, to accept responsibility, right? So, so yeah, it's just like, I don't know, it's weird. It's you learning how society works without losing yourself in society and individuals. Oh, well, yeah, I, I mean, well, this is kind of why I'm streaming because I would get fired in a regular job. I would get fired in an instant. You know, like, I, I have to work with people who understand me because it really, really sucks otherwise. I don't have friends that I don't like. I don't have co-workers that I don't like. I will tell them how they work or how I work. And if they have a problem with it, it's like, hey, it's not my, it's not my problem that you have a problem with it, basically. <laughs> At the end of the day, at least. This goes too far out, and I don't like it. But yeah, I, I'm... Yeah. An ego. You have to have an ego, otherwise you don't exist. Why would you forfeit something like that, right? I'm going to take this back a little bit. Oh, I can break that. Uh, oh, well, I guess I shouldn't. But yeah, if, if, you know, know yourself. Know your limits and whatnot. It's good for everybody, I think. It's it's not just, you know, I'm no guru, but, but I, I like to believe that I understand what's healthy for people, you know? It's pretty simple. We're all generally the same kind of organism, right? I mean, I wouldn't say it in in public on a live stream if I if I didn't really really think about it, right? I don't play chess. I'm not good at chess. <laughs> I'm not uh I'm good at 
tactics on a much larger scale, like like problem solving, not. Chess. I mean, maybe I'd be good at chess, but I haven't played it in too long to remember. Really, too long to remember the last time that I did play it. You know, why don't I just make this larger? Yeah, why don't I just make this larger? Jesus loves you, never forget. I, I personally believe that Jesus would have loved me, but I am not a religious person. Super Rye Guy, welcome to the stream. That is an intro for sure. I think Jesus, as a historical figure, could have could have taken a drink or two, sat down and talked. I wouldn't have understood him, but you know, it's the thought that counts, right? Let's try this. <laughs> I'm kind of wary of this. I hope, I hope we are in a Jesus-loving mood today. Jesus is a great guy. He's got some, he's got some great shit in that book he didn't write. Best, best album ever. Chess is fun. I just remember getting beat by my brother. My brother is the mathematician. He's the, the engineer, the, uh, the scientist in the family. I am not good enough of, at the... Uh, at the things necessary to do such activities. I am, I am not good at those. I think I remember the general rules of chess. Oh, wow. You really had to, didn't you? You really had to. Oh my god. Okay. Disclaimer. I say God's name in vain on this channel. I'm not religious. And respecting other people's religion is not a... in it who I am. Um... Hmm... That's a little better. Yeah. I guess math is great. Math is great. It's a little frustrating sometimes. But overall math is pretty poggers. I, I would I would say math is pretty poggers in general. There's just so much to like do with it, you know? There's just so much to do. I never played enough to learn certain types of moves or strategies. I never learned a single strategy ever. I... The way I play chess is the same way I play video games. It just... Whatever happens, happens, and I try to fix it if... It's broken. Right? I think it'd be like how I like math. Hmm. Yeah. I dislike Trig. I'm sorry, bro. I know this is uh, this is your religion. This is your uh, this is this is your uh, this is your entire livelihood. This is your ability to to function on a fundamental level. It just I don't I don't like Trig. I think my ability to enjoy certain kinds of math is uh, arrested by my inability to do them. Oh, I didn't want to do that. That was the incorrect thing. Oh gosh. 
Hold on. Yeah, I need to. I need to fix this real quick. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. I broke a few things. It was a mistake. Oh, that's why. It's not a sin to love math because it's fun. Yeah, the middle tides. You know, I, uh, throw all of your puns into the fire at once. Good to me, dog. Hershey, I don't like American chocolate. After being in Europe for uh, for the first time when I was seventeen, I uh, I don't like Hershey's chocolate. I I can't eat. It just tastes bland. It doesn't. I mean, it doesn't. I have a. I don't really have flavors that that uh, that evoke such disgust. I just won't eat something. It comes from having a life of constant discovery of things I dislike <laughs> in my mouth. Uh, yeah, we'll eat. No, there is better. We find Trader Joe's German chocolate. And by we, I mean I. I. Nice. Just getting all the sand. All right. I mean, that's a that's a whole thing right there. Let's replace these, and we're gonna go to our glass profile. Uh, I made veggie soup for dinner last night, and it was a yumped, yumped. Yumped. Chocolate elitist. I am a chocolate elitist, and I'm not afraid to say so. I don't know, this American chocolate tastes like, uh, it tastes too much like bake, ch baking chocolate. It's bitter. It's not very sweet. It doesn't have a lot of flavor in it. Most of the flavor is bitter, honestly. Especially Hershey's. Hershey's chocolate is blander than bland. I've been blessed by the gods to cook tasty food by throwing random things together. We got we got Link over here. We got Savior of Hyrule out here with his cooking pot in the middle of the wilds. Get the spoon back out. Um, what's this do? Wait, Control Z does function? Hold on. It, what? That's very odd. I'm quite confused right now. He didn't. That's what someone who's blessed by the gods would say. Uh, undo. Now redo. Oh. Yeah. Now I do this again. No, I want it farther out. There's good. That's, uh... 
We made goji jang chicken and salmon. Salmon? Slammin. I read that all kinds of wrong. Same with zucchini fries that were a failure. Dude, the zucchini fries weren't that bad. I think the egg the egg saved them, but generally they they did not taste amazing. You are correct. The panko didn't stick, so. Uh, bu -bu 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 mask, magenta, stain, undo, brush, uh, cylinder, hair, 15, this was at 15, right? Yeah. And then... Lime stained glass and the mask where the cylinder comes to 10. Slamming. That's what I, I say that unironically. That's just how I say salmon. Or it's not just how I say salmon. I, I say it on purpose. I consciously have to say slamming. Homemade pesto is amazing. Alright, what does this do? It does that. Why does it keep on doing that? Why, why do I keep on doing that? Oh, I think I think that block right there is the problem. There we go. One of my friends introduced me to a new sushi, and I love it. It's tempura spicy tiger shrimp roll or something like that. Tempura is pretty cool. Hoggers. I do love me some tempura. We've been using a lot of tempura recently. Okay. Mask. Ginta. Stained glass. Okay, um, lab time. Get our fours up. Um, oh, I did not mean to do that. make this hole manually because it's really small. Um, what am I? Yeah, 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 yeah. I read that. I know what I'm doing. What's the top song? What's the top Minecraft song? Your opinion this instant. I won't share mine because I do not memorize the names of songs. I want to play Lego Star Wars tonight. I am like hankering for some Lego Star Wars right now. Mainly because when we finish it, we're going to watch all of Indiana Jones and then play the Lego Indiana Jones games. <laughs> My favorite games ever literally some of the best games in the world make the king size ultra crabby supreme with the works double spatter fried on a stick sweden is very good okay i do know that one hold on let's find it let's find it because we are in the last few minutes we are in the last few minutes it's also a longer one 
Usually his good ones are quite short. Yes, you absolutely should. I don't know why you're asking. This is not something that should ever be debated. Yes, of course. Oh, yeah. Sweden is a really good one. It's the Minecraft song. Just flat out. It's just very, very good. Picks will be up, money. Hog. Awesome. We really should post more of our pictures of food because we've been making some really cool stuff recently. Let's just walk around. Okay, now let's get our twos out. That is an oops for sure. Um, not water. Which actually functions, by the way. I uh, will take pics of shrimp stir fry if we make it a. We? Astro is multiple people? Binging with Bamish made this burger. I I need to look at more food stuff. I'm I love culinary stuff. I just I never find any time to do it, and I don't know like like Bailey's out here pouring over books and and like learning recipes and stuff, and I'm just, I just kind of like follow instructions that she gives me at this point. Oh, there we go. Arc ball camera kind of kind of rough sometimes. Need to go up. Maybe not that far up. Uh, no. The smoke also helps to uh, hide some of the weird messiness. Need to set that timer down. It's getting it's getting a little uppity. Then again, stream elements isn't really obeying that well in general. Oh yeah. boy okay dude i think we've outdone ourselves today i think we've done an absolutely incredible job i'm i'm really pleased with this <laughs> 
make this. This looks incredible. All of these. Of course, it's not over until we hit the shaders. Adam Ragusa gives the biochemistry and science behind the food. He also taught me. I know about bread making for the most part. I'm just, I'm really bad at uh, time management, so I, I just don't make food. I just don't make food until it's like a proper meal, until it's like, unless it's lunch or breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I was going to say this out of order, and I realized I would sound insane. Um, you think you're going to buy Starfield? I don't, I haven't even looked at Starfield, man. Student loans, remember. I've... I've, I've got to save money for uh, for rebuying Indiana Jones 2, the Lego game, because uh, our original... Oh! I didn't finish this one. I didn't finish this one. Oh, no. That's so sad. Ooh! Hmm. Hmm. I'll have to get that. Well, I'm going to finish this. Okay, I'm going to work a little late. I'm going to work a little late for the screenshots for the Instagrams. Like the one, uh, the Nile River? The African River? The river that that is the longest in the world? That, that? African River? What? <laughs> Which one? No, I haven't. I haven't looked at Starfield at all. I, I've been totally neglecting it. Um, honestly, I don't. I don't really care about this little tributary. I think I'm gonna fill this in. I think I'm gonna fill it in with the grass. And actually. I need to throw that away. And Y equals, what is this? Below Y equals under 63. And I'm sh I don't really like it. Like this isn't, I've considered it, but I honestly don't really like this being here at all. Why is this? This is at 64. Wait, but that still doesn't account for it being two blocks down. Oh, Y is below. Sorry. Less than or equal to. Jesus, I need my maths nerds in here correcting me. Come on. Yeah, the Nile. Um, as far as I know, the Nile does not have any waterfalls. This is... This is more like Nicaragua has lots of waterfalls. I think Nicaragua has lots of waterfalls. Does Nicaragua have lots of waterfalls? All of the top. Yes, it has several major and minor waterfalls. Yes, I knew it was Nicar Nicaragua has like the insane uh, like circle waterfalls, right? It might be another South American country. South America has some, some pretty incredible waterfalls pretty some pretty dope ones uh yeah no yeah no yeah no we're using our trowel believe it or not i'm a good gardener in real life too I really, I really like yard work. It just, I would rather it didn't make me sweaty. I am no stranger to sweat. Just, just a certain kind of like humidity sweat that I can't stand. I visited Twin Falls in Maui. Uh, I have not. <laughs> I have seen probably dozens of waterfalls in Switzerland, uh, all of which 
or relatively small. Some quaint waterfalls in Switzerland. But nonetheless, quite beautiful. I don't think I've seen New York with memory. I've been to New York. I've been to the Smithsonian. I've never, uh, have... Oh, I've seen, I've seen waterfalls in Croatia. Those ones are awesome. If you ever have a chance, people, if you ever have any kind of money whatsoever, go visit Croatia. It is one of the most beautiful places I've ever hoped to, to visit. It is incredible. See my mustache cop. I, I did. He said. <laughs> I did. Also, happy birthday, Astro. The pleasure doing business with you. You are yet again. Uh, an age, a number, some kind of monetary value of time on this earth. Congratulations. Happy birthdays are weird to me. I don't know why. Like, there's a whole, like, people who don't celebrate their birthdays like like crazy or think they're better than us but also like I don't know I just I just don't care I just don't care I mean my birthday's a thing and I'll celebrate it to feel better but like otherwise no don't really mind um January 31st yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I said it on uh, in Discord. I so I didn't want to miss it, miss saying it in person as well. It would be sad. I'm so fast. Clicking is so easy. Oh my gosh! I just have no idea. I think, uh, I think that'll be that. I think that'll be that. Turn the shaders back on. We're gonna take our Instagram shots. Actually, I'm not. I'm not gonna take my Instagram shots because you guys have to go visit my Instagram linked in the description where I post build updates and small little showcases and whatever other stuff I'm doing. But you guys are gonna get this crazy scenic view. Oh yeah, baby. That's awesome. That's so cool. The crystals look like clouds, which is kind of weird. Um, aren't that significant in my eyes? Woo! <laughs> I mean, just think about it. You've only been on. You've only uh, been around the Earth, or been around the Sun, like, however many times. I'm gonna assume you're like 85 or something egregious like that. I know you're like my age or somewhere around there. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna throw it out there. You're 80, you're 85 plus. You've only been on the Sun. You know, it's a constant thing. You've only been there for however many years. It's pretty incredible, right? Pretty incredible. This is insane. This is an awesome shot. You guys really kept me some great company today. This has been a great stream. I hope it continues growing. I've, you know, I peaked 101 subscribers today. That's insane. Uh, I wish my alerts work because they really, they really are precious. I quite like them. Um, I'm 86 and a half. Sorry. I, I didn't mean to disrespect how how actually old you are. Sorry. The half matters. The half really does matter for old people because they could drop any moment. Not to be morbid or anything. With that, uh, I am going to go get something to eat. And I'm going to sit down and play video games with Bailey. Because uh, I haven't got to spend time with her today. Anyway, again, happy, Af uh, happy Astro birthday. 
thank you all so much for coming by. Thank you for the likes and the and the subs and uh, just being around. It's it's great talking to new people and older people and uh, and everybody in between. And I hope you have a great weekend. It's Friday. It's Saturday for a lot of you. And now I will demand that you stay froggy as the frog light of my soul. Remember, we love you here. And uh, yeah, good eats. Good eat. whatever. I'm thinking of something else to say. Good eats. Have have great food this weekend. I hope you all eat well. Eat well, grow large. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye, Astro. And.